Yes, yes, people, we are back live. We are back live on the Sarcasm City TV YouTube for another Sarcasm City TV special. For those that haven't seen the Sarcasm City TV specials before, it's where I sit down one on one with the biggest and best content creators in the game and give them their flowers, people. Like we always do this in life where we wait till people are no longer here, till people have passed away to say how great they are and how great their content was. And it's like, no, I'm an advocate. For giving people their flowers whilst they can still smell them and telling them how they great they are whilst they that they are here and the impact they have had on myself and many others in regards to their content. Also, these specials from a selfish standpoint is people I'm fans of. So, yes, even though I'm blessed to work with the people I've had on these specials so far, I'm still a fan, people. Even though I work with these people, even though I was calling these people brothers, even though it's family, even though I can hit these people up and say, yo, can you come do a show or a to et cetera, et cetera. And this one right here, every anytime I've run specials before, but anytime I run specials, he's always the guy who gets asked for the most. And that's testament to how great us of, of a content creator he is. First and foremost, the football knowledge is off the scale. Like, let's just start right there before we get to creating the content from a football knowledge perspective so whether it's tactical breakdown whether it's personality breakdown whether it's team breakdown of the premier league whether it's international football whether it's european football first and foremost secondly someone who stands by their opinion couldn't care less what you think and even though i'm saying that jokingly a lot of people struggle with that when I say this man really could care less about who don't fuck with him, and you need that. You need to have unfuckable with confidence. And this man has that in abundance. Big up to everyone in the chat. I see you lot already. And also on top of that, entertaining. That's the one thing. It's very tough. And I was thinking about this as we were setting up the show as well. There's nobody in his lane. There's no content creator I can say, oh, is like such and such. And that's how unique a character he is. Secondly, as well, what people sleep on is the amount of people that he's put on and helped throughout his channel. I had Matisse on one of the specials. He spoke in depth about how this man has helped him. I can only speak in like a uh, testament to this man in regards to helping me. My channel is now approaching 10 and a half K. When I first went on this channel, I'd even cracked 1000 yet. And we're now at 10 and a half K. Never mind everyone he put onto Twitch. Never mind is helping a Matisse, helping a Flawless, helping a Saeed, helping the deluded Guna. You see months on there now. I could keep listing names and listing names and listing names. And going viral for most content creators and most people is, wow, that's crazy. For this guy, it's every week. Every day I see him pop up on the timeline every single week going viral for something of the other. And also as well, on the Mount Rushmore of this thing, and I spoke a lot about people kicking down doors. And not only was he initially one of one of those content creators who did that in regards to the fan camp era, being out of grounds, he was the first Manchester United fan I remember being a voice for people like me, like others. And it's not black, that's just from a cultural standpoint, from a demographic like, oh shit, that's someone who sounds like us, keeping it real and talking open and honestly. And still one of my favorite shows, and if I bring it up to him that I still miss, is him and Flex. Like that show right there, one of the GOAT shows. And I think people, if I had one show I could bring back, it would be that show. So I'm blessed to have him on, you know what I'm saying, on the channel. Blessed that he'll come and do this special. It is something you lot have been waiting for as well. Gotta welcome my like Ransom Roni, Ransom Bants to the channel. Yes, family, what are you telling me? Hey, bro, I'm good, bro. That was a solid intro. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> it's only right, man. It's only right, fam. You know what I'm saying? It's only right. God, God, give people their flowers. And I meant everything I stated there. And I could have carried on like 110%. Like I said, not only did you was you one of the first doing this thing, you transitioned over from the fan camp era and things of that nature over to the live streaming era as well. And a lot of people mm -hmm. couldn't do that as well. And I've helped the second wave. Like I said, Matisse was on. He spoke greatly about you, as do I, as do many others as well. But glad you're blessed, family. Big up for the raid as well. Big up to everyone in the chat. Run up the likes. Make sure you hit the subscribe button on the channel as well. Already over 300 of you lot. I know this is the one you have been waiting for. But yeah, Rants, before we get into Manchester United, current affairs, Ten Hag, who should be the next manager, the current squad, etc., etc. Your backstory is crazy. So I want you to go all the way back, so... Before the Ransom Bands channel, 
before obviously you was doing things in regards to politics before working on tv the very beginning of like when you was like all right i'm gonna start content creating uh you know what i didn't i didn't think to start doing it bro if that makes sense it kind okay. of i got here by just mm. being myself mm. and i'm still mm. here by just being myself. <laughs> yeah. That's just how it was, bro. It, I this all came from Snapchat. Hmm. This all came from me vlogging on Snapchat. That's all okay. this came from. Like I was just vlogging. So I would just vlog my normal day. I'd be on the way to the gym. Yeah. Because I was working in the gym at the time. Yeah. Um, and I'd just be walking from my house to the gym. And every day hmm. I was I would just vlog throughout the day so if i saw something funny i would just com comment on it like and then i started just you. doing social commentary like and that's mm. why my rants reacts bangs the way it bangs because that's my bag in it yeah 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 that's I, the I original just, yeah mm. that's my bag i just react to things i see so i was just vlogging so i would be i could be waiting in the line in tesco's someone's pissed me off and i'll just vlog it and i'll just be like yo this this and the other start ripping their outfit or whatever or turn the camera <laughs> around whatever like bro so i was just reacting to everyday life bro like that's what i would do i would talk about certain things like and then the first thing that actually went viral for me was um i was talking about I think it was something like people were talking about who should pay on a first date or something like that so Got it you. was talking about girl which does really well for me to this day <laughs> yeah we know the girl you know what i mean before you so, carry on what year was this that you was like snapchat 2016, 2016 2016 okay okay so right, i had right. one where mom was talking about that girl and i was also talking about just man them that was ruining the game for for everyone else taking girl to these to the shard and all these things and bro like and imagine i was vlogging about it mm. Um, and then somebody clipped me, um, yeah. and then it ended up on Instagram. Okay. I didn't even post it on Instagram, and it got shared yeah. by one of them big Instagram. Um, you know, like I'm just baiting that before. Yeah, I'm yeah, yeah. Them, them ones that will them um, Instagram. Yeah, accounts that will. Yeah, post them big ones. Just yeah, post so, interesting things like that. Yeah, I get what you. So saying. people started sharing. People started somehow sharing my stories. Mm. as videos on instagram and then i right. started going viral all the time bro like i was going viral like once a week yeah. and this was literally within three or four weeks of doing it bro like i just hit the ground running and then i remember the first time i went viral i was in um i was in germany seeing my sister and i remember my phone just kept going off bro like going off going off and people were saying who's this guy who's this guy because people were sharing my content but i didn't have a page got you right do you right, know what right. i'm saying That's how so, you didn't even have a page at this i point. didn't even i didn't have a page in it so because mm. i didn't have a page people were just writing my name under the video but i never had an account i just had a private instagram account um mm. And that was it, bro. So I was just like, right, pe people actually start liking these. And then what I started doing was I would start saving my Snapchat stories at the end yeah, and then clipping them. And then I started uploading them. I started uploading them to Facebook. Jeez. That's, uh, that's what it was. This, you know what I'm saying? So it was a mad thing. Like it was mad how it all went i wasn't actually just making videos to post i was just posting i was just vlogging throughout the day and then just taking it down and just posting it like there was right. no editing that was going into it like it was literally it was just, just it was just a raw footage and this it was is raw weird. bro raw, raw footage. footage no no yeah. microphone no camera just looking into an yeah. iphone and most of my stuff that went super viral yeah was mm. a raw footage bro like and right. i've always had the ability to just entertain you yeah, like with without all the fancy editing without all the fancy transitions all of that it's just raw like people are there for the content it's just punchy it's direct it's funny a man's just not not messing about like man just speak my mind in it and that's kind yeah. of that happened and then marvin from fresh ego kid literally shared one of my videos in i think the older shot 
town um, group chat because he was playing football there. And mm. then one of my guys, Danny Hilton, that was playing there as well, was like, I know him. Like, he's next door neighbours with my missus. Yeah. Because okay. and then world. that's how it happened. So she, so so no one ever knew who I was because I didn't have a page. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. got you, got you, got you. Do you know you what I'm saying? Posting. You just know yeah. page. You were just uploading from Snapchat to them, uploading to Snapchat, then Facebook. Got and, that, and this was before Facebook, yeah. When Marvin posted my thing, yeah, that just it, mm. you just ended up being floating around. Someone else posted it, mm. and then um, Danny hit me up and was like, "Yo, Marvin wants your number." And then I spoke to Marvin and Marvin just sent me bare fresh ego kid. So I was rocking fresh ego kid before everyone. Susan, you know them one. Yeah, RIP to Marvin, I see you. Yeah. Like RIP Marvin. Yeah, yeah, RIP to my guy, bro. That's my guy. So think about it. When so that's why I started rocking fresh ego, and then eventually I, I hooked up um like flex with fresh ego but before them man were buying their stuff and I was getting all my shit free, and that's why people mm. used to joke and say, right. It's like all the football men are, are wearing fresh ego, like ego. it's the the football the football <laughs> vlogger starter kit and that. But I was the only one getting it free, blood. You got you, you know, got, like you that. Got. It yeah, was me yeah. and then and troops as well. Yeah, it was just me and troops, blood. It's just had it. And then yeah. eventually after then flexed and after my brother and then yeah. other people. But for most part, most of the men then were buying their fresh ego, bro. Mm. You know, like that. But it just so happened that like Marvin hit me up and was. And was like, nah, your thing's killing me. Boom, boom, boom. And he sent me a mm. care package, bro. Like, and I, I remember, like, he sent it to the gym that I was working at, bro. I had to do two trips home, bro. Man sent me massive boxes of clothes. Man said, what's your address? I want to send you some stuff. I'm thinking he's going to send me a few hats. Man sent me, like, big boxes, bro. You have to do two stuff. trips, like you said. Two That's trips, what... bro. Because I live, like, one road away from the gym. So I walk to work. The man's carrying oh. this big box, blood. <laughs> Down the high street now, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Two big boxes. He sent me bare hats, bare stuff. And mm -hmm. that was how I originally met Marvin, bro, because literally saw my video and it got posted in the football group chat. Yeah. And that was all before I had a Ransom Bands page. I didn't have one. So there's like, no, so still viral. at this point, there's no Ransom Bands page at this point, no YouTube page. There's no nothing, page, bro. No Twitter, there's nothing. nothing. Okay. Yeah. Now, this you is know, all like 2016. that. Got you, got you. Yeah, got you. there was nothing, bro. It just, a few viral videos on Instagram that people had taken from my Snapchat. Mm. Like, do you know what I mean? And uh, that was so it. So you were bro. going viral from the jump from I early. was going viral from the from before the I had a page, bro. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And this is what it was. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So that is why, yeah. I came up with the, the concept rants and bants because I was like, yo, like man, literally, I was just ranting on normal days, things that piss me off. But people just find found it funny. So I was he like, cool. That man's like, ransom banter. Ransom yeah. bants, cool. And I was just sitting down in the office. Well, not in the office, in the staff room in the gym. Hmm. And I just made a Facebook page on my iPad. Got you. And that was it. But I never had nowhere. Like, I never had a house for the videos. Okay, got you, got you, got you. Right. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I never had a house for the videos, bro. Like, it was just... It was just um, Snapchat. That yeah. was it. And the, the way I downloaded Snapchat, here's the mad thing as well. Go on. Because I'm I'm not a social media guy. Got like you. my Instagram was private. Yeah. And I just had people I knew on it. I'm not someone that's on social media like that. So, like even now, bro, look, look I barely post on Twitter. Look at the amount of followers I got. Chats. I don't use it. You rarely post, yeah. You don't post then, on Twitter like that. And yeah, look yeah. at my Instagram as well, bro. Like I post maybe once a month on Insta, like on the main feed. Yeah, maybe not even once. Stories. Yeah, yeah, I just post on the stories to send people to YouTube. Other than that, I don't even really post on the stories, bro. I live a proper private life, so That's true. I'm not a social media guy in it. So the fact that I'm here is a is a flipping madness, anyway. Do you know what I'm yeah. saying? So basically, two of my best friends went um they went Euro uh, inter railing where you go around Europe on trains and that. Oh, okay. Yeah, and basically they downloaded Snapchat. Yeah. Just and they told me and a few of the other men them to download it so we could see their journey. So when they were traveling around Europe, they were oh. vlogging on there, and yeah. I downloaded Snapchat just to see where they were. So like they went all through Europe, like France, mm -hmm. Italy, Hungary, like 
You know what I mean? They done everything. And yeah. I just downloaded it just to keep an eye on them. And then that same summer, we all went on holiday. We all went yeah. on holiday to um to DR. All of DR. me and me and what, the man them. What year is this? At this point, is it's 2017 now. No, nah, I think it's the same year. Is it still 2016? Okay, go on, carry on, yeah. carry on. Carry on. We we yeah. go um we all go DR and then I start to I start to vlog the holiday in it, mm -hmm. but I was just doing mad commentary and flipping the camera. Like I remember, they didn't realize you could flip the camera while you were live in it. But I was <laughs> like, bro, so I was like vlogging myself yeah, and yeah, stuff, yeah, yeah. and then mm -hmm. flipping the camera and doing stuff. Mm. And they were like, "Yo, this looks crazy." And then, bro, mm. it got to the end where we were there for ten days. After the third day, yeah, you know when you're on a resort. You just kind of yeah. link up with people. We linked up with like some Canadians, yeah, some yeah, Americans, yeah. bro. At the end of every single evening, everyone was just chilling around. Everyone's just vibes in. I'm watching my fucking snaps for the day. You know them. It was a it was a nightly thing where everyone was like, "Yo, that yeah. like, we need to watch his snaps for the day," because they would just see me filming all day. Mm. And then they were, at the end of the day, they're like, I want to see the end product because they just see me talking, but they can't hear me because they're ahead of me and they see me yeah, filming yeah. and they don't know what's going on. So yeah, it just became a thing where at the end of every single night after we eat, um, whatever, and that was where I had my first cigar as well in DR in 2016, bro. And that changed okay. my life forever, blood. Like, you know, <laughs> like that. So, yeah, yeah bro. So the end of every single night, then I'm like, nah, we need to watch Rance's snaps. So we mm. would all sit around outside and there was about 10, 15 of us, like the Canadians, Americans, whatever. And everyone would just literally just be watching my snaps, like all at the same time. And it just became a thing where every day, man, were just watching my snaps. And they were just like, nah, this is flipping too funny. And I remember my brethren were like, more people need to see this, bro. Like, this is crazy. And I was just mm -hmm. like, whatever, in it. Like, I was just yeah. living my life. Yeah, you and just being it. authentically you. Like, even if you yeah. weren't filming, you would have still been giving that commentary or whatever was going uh, on. Bro, I, I, I still would have been saying the same things, yeah, just same, not same. on camera. Yeah, bro, yeah, it would have been filmed. Do you yeah, know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? So, like, if I was it's walking and someone you. did something, yeah. I'll say something and my brethren would be busting up. But now, yeah, instead yeah. of saying it to my friends, I'm saying it to the camera. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? So now yeah. everyone else gets to see what they're seeing of me all the time. Yeah, do you know what I'm saying? So anyone I that's mean, known me from when I was little always knows that man was always the joker in school. I was always the joker. I got great grades. People were astonished. They're like, "How the fuck does he do so well at school?" He's always talking, bruv. Like, what's that? Because I'm Finnish. Yeah, naturally smart. That's why. Yeah, you know what I'm saying, saying? Mm -hmm. bro. It's just one of them ones. So like, I'd finish my, I'd finish before everyone else. Mm -hmm. Like, because normally, like, when you do a test and that, they'll say, "Oh, cool, you've got." 50 minutes to do this math test i'm done in 25 minutes and i'm just chatting bruv yeah, yeah, yeah you know what i'm saying a man's just like this bro's always chatting teachers be like oh this that and the other you're not gonna do xyz man smoke school bro Confident. you know like that yeah, easy and this is what it is so for me i've always been i've always been the joker like my whole life but i've not been i've never been loud though do you know what i mean my brother's the loud joker and i'm the quiet yeah. one Joke. I'm the yeah, one that will, I'm the one that will be in the room, yeah. Something will be going on. I'll say the one line, everyone dies. Yeah, you know yeah, the yeah. one. And then the I just line that's, under the, the that's under the yeah. radar though, that only some people heard. I get what you say. That's saying. it. Yeah. And then everyone dies. Whereas my brother is the guy that he's in the room and he's he's captured everyone now. You yeah. know what I mean? So no, he's all eyes are, yeah, so all <laughs> eyes are on him, and he's just entertaining and he's controlling the room. Whereas me. I'm the one, I'll see, I'll be in that pocket of space, bro. I'll jump in the pocket, boom, execute, yeah. and then I'm back out. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you go, you go, you and go. that's what it is. And that's where we're similar, but we're different, in it. Do you know what I mean? And that's why when we're together, you can see, yeah, you can see, like, we end up finishing each other's jokes. Like, we just look at each other and laugh because we know, like, our brains work the same way. Yeah, do you know what I'm saying? But he's the extroverted one, and I'm the introverted one. So it's like yeah, yeah. we'll both we'll both meet in the same space and just end up laughing for no reason. Yeah, That's me. why when you watch our shows, a lot of the time we'll start talking, and then we'll just start laughing. Like, and the, the sentence ain't done. Do you know what I mean? Because we know, where, know where, it's going. where we what road it's on. Yeah, understand that fully. Yeah, 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 yeah. you can no, see the chemistry. That's, that's just what it is. 
Yeah, nah, I, fu- I, fu- I fully get that. So that's still 2016. You're right. You're obviously, you're over in DR, like Bro, you said. That's 2016. By 2017, yeah, Vice had hit yeah. me up. And I was... Right. From- and I was, on, I was on, so, I was, bro, I was on TV, bruv, within three months. Hundred <laughs> percent. We're not skipping the steps, though. We can't yeah. skip. This is an important part of the story because you said everyone's watching in DR in regards to your content. More, yeah. your brethren's are saying to you, more people need to see this. You've already said it. I know your character well enough because you're just like, yeah, whatever. So, did yeah. you? How did you actually go about? All right, let me make more content. Was it your brethren's? Was it with you? Was you just like, all right, whatever, I'm gonna do it anyway. Mm. No, my brethren, you know what it is. My brethren said that yeah. more people needed it, but it's only yeah. when, when I started going viral on Instagram and I wasn't posting the stuff. That is when I realized that I was like, "Yo, there's a market for this." Do you know what I mean? Cool. And I'm a smart guy, in it. So what light bulb I, moment? Yeah. So I was like, "Bro, people want this, mm. and I don't have any way for them to find me." But these Good. times, I'm not thinking that there's a career here. I'm yeah. just doing it for fun. Because at the time, remember, no one's making money off the internet these times. True. No one's making money, bro. It's space, you know like, space like it is now, yes. Nah, yes. bro. Like, bro, listen. If I... I was so far ahead of my time, yeah? Hmm. That is crazy. When you see guys now on Instagram... Starting yeah. on Instagram doing sketches like the Michael Dappers and the Munyas and all these other guys yeah. doing these little short sketches and that. Man, need to realize that I was doing three minute videos on Facebook that was really? doing 500k, bruv. Ooh, like, talk, that, talk, then, that, talk that big number shit, bro. bro, talk that bro big my shit. Facebook, my Facebook page right now has over a hundred thousand um followers on it, and I haven't posted on it in about five years. Talk about it. I actually just tagged you as I post on Facebook for this. Yeah, yeah, yeah bro. Look at my Facebook page right now and tell me how yeah. many followers I've got on there. And tell me when I posted last as well. Just so man yeah. know I'm not chatting rubbish. Yeah, we know you don't be chatting. Literally, as I posted on Facebook, I still post on there because I got people. Because, bro, I like, I, I can't, I don't even think I can log into my Facebook page no more, bro. Like, I, don't, I don't know the What's password. Saying? Like, bro. T- <laughs> One second, I'm literally just yeah. pulling this up now. And you lot run up the likes as well, man. Are you not entertained? Over 450 people in here. Run yeah, up the likes. I'm just my Facebook page was 104k. Last time you posted go. was Jesus, December 2018. What would I and tell you? And it's you and it's you and Grizz talking Liverpool and United. What did I tell you? Well, I ain't posted for six years, bro, and I still got over a hundred thousand, bro. If you understand the numbers that man was doing, and that this is why, yeah, this is why, when about. man think that anyone put me on, bro, I laugh Talk because about I was doing obscene numbers even before football YouTube. Before Talk about football it, YouTube, I was doing obscene numbers. I was going viral, bro. I done a video in twenty seventeen that done two, I think one point two million. In Woo! like four or five hours. Do you Talk know what I'm saying? It. That's why when Tristan Tate was talking about me, that when you lot were saying, oh, like, how does he know rants and that? Bro, him and his brother used to watch me, bro. When mm. I, Back in the Facebook days, bro. They're London guys, bro. And mm. Tristan's around my age. So mm. them man knew who I was, bro. Like, man was making mad noise, bro. I haven't posted since 2018. I got over 100,000 people on there still, bro. I was was doing madness. This is what people need to understand. And this was, this was in a time where now it's kind of easy to go viral with the algorithms on Twitter and Instagram. Facebook back in the day, it wasn't like that, bro. No, it was not easy to go viral. It was. It wasn't easy to go viral, bro. Viral. Yes, hundred percent. It was. Do you know what I mean? Easy. If I started in 2016, yeah, and I haven't posted since 2018, that means in two years I had a hundred thousand plus followers. In two years, talk about it, bro. And that's on one platform. Who does that, bro? Really? It. Do you know what I'm saying? Who really does that? Yo, talk your ish, fam. Like, that's what you were here for, to celebrate, yo, talk that number no, stuff. Talk 100%. that Adelaide. Because, bro, like, I don't know anyone that's come from nowhere, yeah? From absolutely nowhere, especially mm. in this time right now. Do you know how difficult it would be on somewhere like YouTube, even though the YouTube algorithm is different, yeah? To, but, 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 to have 100,000, bruv, yeah, in like, two years. From early as well. Early. Early. 
Talk about come it. on, bro. Two years, 100 k Relax, bro. It doesn't happen. Do you know yeah. what I mean? I know that in it. So when I done the mad thing on Facebook, yeah, like it was a clear indication to me that yo, you need to start taking this seriously because it, this is this is a business. Okay, so that's when the net that's when the that's when the penny dropped. When you was going viral, you was like, There's a career here. Let me take this seriously because I can do something in this space. Oh hell yeah. Do you know what okay. I'm saying? But it's not just that, bro. Like Talk about I'm looking at it now, yeah. And everything happened so quickly for me, but I'm not one of them people. You know, those people say, Oh, like sometimes they get imposter syndrome and all these things. Hmm. I'm just like, no, because I can't feel like I've got imposter syndrome because this is who I've always been. I've always been that guy in class. Everyone always knew I was the funny guy in class. Yeah. So I was always able to captivate audiences. So because of that, I never felt like, oh, I don't belong here. Yeah. I knew I belonged here because everywhere since nursery all the way up through school, I've always been one of the popular guys at school. I've always been one of the guys that can make people laugh. Talk about it. Can get make girl laugh, can do all these things, bro. I've I've always been good in social situations, even though I'm not a very social person, if that makes sense. Mm. You know what I, I mean? mean? Because I'd rather be on my own, or I'd rather be like around you're comfortable people in I your know. own. You're yeah. comfortable in your own skin, yeah. or comfortable in your own circle with your own circle, which is no yeah. wrong. With that. Yeah, hundred percent. But I know that I can hold an audience, bro. Like I've always had the ability to do that, even though I much rather. I'll much rather kind of have my own space and be by myself. But when it's time to to entertain perform. or yeah. to perform, bro, I, that's me, bro. I'm you, active. You can switch on. Yeah, yeah. You I can, can switch, switch on. on. Like, I'm, I'm here now. All right, let's do what needs to be done. And, and that's all it is. So, like, it doesn't... Like, none of this, none of this don't really feel uncomfortable. It's not imposter syndrome. It's like, this is just me being me. But now more people get to experience what my the people that are around me every day get to experience because it's the same thing. Get you, get you, one hundred percent. So you're going viral. Obviously, the Facebook page is blowing up. You're going viral. What then happened next? Was it a, a, a Vice or a big company contacting you? Loads of them. BBC, page? Vice. Okay. Do you remember who um, the first one was? Do you remember who the first company was that contacted you with something? Vice. Oh, right, shout black. out. Listen, yeah. Talk about it. Bro, you know what it is, yeah? You know what it is. And it's going to be funny. Let me see if I still got my man's number on my phone as well, because that would be jokes. Because you know what it is, yeah? Um, He works for Arsenal now. Do you know what I mean? Man like Hoff, bro. Alex Hoffman, bro. He was at Vice. He's a massive right. Arsenal fan, and now he works with Arsenal. Um... He works with Arsenal like in a big way. He does a lot of their creative stuff. So um if you're Arsenal fans, you might have heard of him still because he him and Frimpong like do a lot of stuff, but he's above like Frimmy and that. But Alex is my guy, bro. He was at Vice, innit? Um, and I only had about 20,000 followers on Facebook at the time. And um Alex messaged me, yeah. And this was probably about two months in. He said, listen, your thing's cold. I know that we want to work with you, but I don't know what we want to do. But just give me your phone number, bruv. Like, man's going to stay in touch with you. Yeah. That's what he said. He was the first person that reached out to me, innit? I got reached out to by loads of people like BBC, the, this, that, and the other. And I ended up going on loads of different things. But, Hoff hit me up literally within a couple months, two, three months, and was like, listen, yeah, I'm at Vice, and Vice is edgy as fuck. Do you know what I'm saying? Yes, yeah, because what's it called? Was on, I used to watch Thingy on, oh, what's the names of the two? Desus and Mero. They was on Vice. Exactly. They were yeah, there yeah, when yeah. I was there. So yeah, 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 Hoff was like, listen, we need to do something. Go you. We need to do something. I don't know what, but, but need we to need something. to do something, minute. Yeah. And then... There was the referendum thing. Do you know what I'm saying? There was a referendum, which I think was in 2017. Um, The Brexit thing. And then Alex was like, yo, all right, bro. It's our time, bro. You know what I'm saying? It's time to work. 
you know like that and it was that and it was and it was one right. of them ones and that even goes too far because i already had a viral i think i had a viral brexit video before that the one that done 1.4 million in with, like with four, the five hours. with the politics so you'd already done that previously and then yeah so i was doing around, politics I, was like yeah i was okay. talking about everything bro i was talking about girl i was talking about mm. politics even when that harambe gorilla got killed as well i done a funny sketch on that like mm. a, a thing about harambe getting killed and that like bro i was talking about anything that's happening in the news bro so I was, it's just social commentary. I was commentating on anything that happened. So for instance, now, if I was doing what I was doing back then, all the thing like with Marcel when his girl cheated on him, I'd have done a video on that. You know them one? Yeah. Like, I stuff know. like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anything that was going on, like in the news or like popular culture, yeah, I was doing little videos, like five minute videos, short, yeah. punchy videos and just easy to digest. And I was doing, bro, like... I wasn't doing less than like 60k on videos, like Ooh, do you know what I'm saying? Them numbers, man. And talk that that numbers. was that was then, bro. Do you know what I'm talk saying? Like I had the algorithm in a chokehold, bro, on Facebook. I can't even lie. So when man say, yo, Rance, big up Rance, I've been following you since Facebook days. That's how I know man have been there from the from jump. The, from the beginning, beginning. Do you yeah. know what I'm saying? So this this is what it is. So when the funny thing is when people turn around and they say stuff on Twitter like like um that fed gave me a career and stuff like that i was like bro check the statistics bro you know the yeah. ones there that's what we're here for to do the backstory so people you know i mean check the, the check. statistics bro you know, like i was check. the first one remember i was the only one on that channel yeah because bro when i joined that channel it had less followers than my facebook page has that i haven't posted on since 2018 jeez hey, do you know what i'm numbers. saying talk so numbers. Talk i had numbers. more numbers i was the one with all the blue ticks Mm. My Facebook page has a blue tick on it. Talk about my it. Insta Talk had a blue tick. My Instagram got a blue tick. Then man never had ticks. I was the only one on the channel with a tick. But then man are gonna say that man made me. But I already came in thirty. Yeah, you I already, was already came in. It was already you and already I was, established. I'd already going viral done, big numbers. Bruv, I'd Talk already about. gone viral multiple times. Yeah. Been on TV and decided I don't like TV because I can't speak my mind. Been on radio, decided I don't want to be on radio no more because I can't speak my mind. And then I decided, you know what? I'm going to put my energy into online because I can be myself. Okay, you know so, what so what was that like? Because obviously being on Vice, like you said, BBC, TV, yeah. radio. When, what what happened? Or what, if you remember a particular show or was it a conversation before or after a show where you was like, I can't speak my mind on here. I need to just have my own platform. It wasn't a particular show, but you know what it is, yeah? It's one of them ones where I'm someone, I don't like to code switch. You know what I'm saying? Like, I speak to my mum like this, the way I speak to you. Yeah. I don't feel like I should have to be someone else at any any time. Got you. You want to be 110% I you would, at all yeah. time. I want to be yeah. this guy all the time. Like, I've had, I've sat down, yeah, and I've had meetings with millionaires, yeah? Mm. Like, millionaires. And they've sat down and they've said to me, yeah, the, or, or said to other people about me, you know what I love about Rance? He's just mm. himself, bro. I've turned up to meetings, yeah, in my basketball jersey and my shorts, you know, with millionaires. And, the, and my Crocs on, bro. And these men love me. They're like, this guy don't give a shit. Do you know what I mean? And bro, like, them men have actually said to me, yo, you don't care, innit? You're just yourself. Thanks. And you know when certain men are in meetings, yeah? Mm. When certain men are in meetings, yeah, they, they almost... When you know that my man, you want money from someone, you want someone to invest money in you, yeah. certain man will kind of just do the yes man thing. Yeah. N not me. Not you know them that. ones there like i've sat down in meetings with these guys and i've said to them you know what bro respectfully that ain't right this is how you need to do it and they've said you know what you're fucking right you know you know mm. them ones there you know certain man would we'll just, just kind be of saying just, yes man just because be they sitting there and just saying oh yeah yeah we can do it this mm. way we can do it this way we can do it this way i'm like nah 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 we mm. need to do it this way and this is why we need to do it this way and they're mm. like actually mm. i hear it i like him because I'll yeah. challenge you. If I feel like now nah, there's a better way to do things, I will You'll challenge you. So. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And they rate that, bro. And I turn up in whatever I want to wear and mm. I speak my mind and I speak exactly the same way. And these men respect me for it. There's too many men that go in and do the little fake 
ting and laugh at every man's dead jokes and that just to try and get somewhere. Nah. I'm just being myself, innit? I'm turning up comfortable. Do you know what I mean? And and yeah. if you say something I don't agree with, I'm telling you I don't agree with it and I'm telling you, you why. And yeah. they got so much respect for men. Like, these men have literally said, I've gone into meetings multiple times yeah. with, like, business partners and that, and they've called me up after and said, yo, man, they loved you, man. Like, fuck. Like, damn, bro. Like, because you just... I can't believe you're it. Like, you're because just I just you, go right? there and it's just no bullshit, bro. Yeah, you're you. Yeah. It's just absolutely no bullshit. I ain't got no time for that. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I just go in there and I say, and I go in there, I always say, when I go into a meeting, I'm always willing to leave if I hear something I don't like. So I'm not desperate. That's, that's the best part of negotiation is always be in a position to say no. Yeah. In any negotiation. Always so, be in, always yeah. be willing to walk away if you're unhappy. Even if you're, quote unquote, the B side of the negotiation. Always be willing to walk away in any negotiation, especially your brand. So I fully hear that. 100%. You Trust know what it is, yeah? Like when that man say to me, because the man say to me, I'm all I'm so good at closing deals. Do you know what I'm saying? Obviously, we'll get on to the Twitch stuff later on, innit? Because but it's like I'm so good at closing deals because it's kind of like I've noticed the more high net worth people, yeah, that I sit down with, the more I realize they've all got one thing in common and they can see bullshit from a mile away, you know, like that. So, because they see I'm just being myself and I'm, I fully mean what I say and I'm just certain. Like, they look me in the eyes and they're like, you know what? Like, yeah, I trust this guy, innit? Like, this guy, I trust that he knows what he's saying, bro. Because some people can bullshit, but, like, you got to understand, when you're sitting down with men that have millions and they're successful businessmen, yeah, they've heard all the bullshit that you could ever think. So, you can't twang these they've guys. Heard, they've, heard, they've heard all the lines. They've heard, They've heard all, the, all lines. the lines. They've heard all the bars. Yes, yes. And also yeah. in life, yeah, to be successful, you have to fail many, many, many times. So yeah. on the route to these guys getting here, yeah, to where they've got to, they've been lied to. They've been twanged. They've seen little things where they're like, you know what, I've heard this before and look, this is how it turned out. Do you know what I mean? So if you're not authentic or you're trying to be... You know what I mean? You're trying to be underhand or whatever. These men have seen it before, bro, and they're yeah. not buying it. Or if you're just willing to be a yes man, they're not having yeah. it. They're like, well, I if don't you're just sitting there you. and you've got no opinion of your own, they're looking at you and they're not respecting you, bro. These men want someone to challenge them, bro. Well, okay. They do. Do you know what I mean? So I don't just sit there and just nod and smile and then just hopefully, oh, like, yeah, so... Do the deal. Can, can I? Can we do the deal? No, 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 bro. Like, I'm making sure I apply pressure, innit? Mm-hmm. No, that's fair. That's fair. And what year is this? Is twenty seventeen correct? Just to get the timeline, is this twenty seventeen? So yes, all right. Sir. So yeah, like you said, you're working with Vice, worked with BBC, been on TV, been on radio. Realized it's not for you, so you want to be somewhere so you can speak your mind. So then, what was then the next step following that? When you're like, okay, you I'm know, gonna focus online because you got the, the mainstream. Ah, the mainstream media thing kind of it kind of stretched over a span of i'd say between 2017 to like 2019 maybe because mm-hmm. when i was on the united stand i was still going and doing bbc um i was still doing bbc radio 5 live like i used to do um question time okay so, i know that so i would good. so i'd so i would go up to manchester yeah. and i would do the radio show with adrian charles in it who used to do match of the day oh yeah he used to do match of the day too yeah, yeah adrian charles, charles is, yeah, yeah, adrian yeah, yeah. That's Adrian another Charles. one. That's my guy, bro. That's what I'm yeah. trying to say. So, like, bro, he's another guy. I got his number in yeah. my phone. Like, Adrian's my guy. You know, Jeez, like that? He's, a West, know that. he's a West Brom fan, isn't it? Yeah, and, I remember um, Adrian Charles because he used to do the Too Good, Too Bad on Match of the Day 2. That's bro, he is that one of the nicest brothers that man's met, like, in this whole media thing. Adrian Charles yeah. is a real guy, bro. Do you know what I mean? Like, man's been on radio with him, gone and got food after the show. Yeah. Whatever he's that guy that he's like, if you're ever about hit me up, okay. you know, the one that he's yeah. surty brother. So I used to go and do that show with Adrian whilst I was on the United stand. So yeah. I finally kind of cut that off when it got to the point where I said, um, I said to the BBC, I said, unless you're going to give me my own show, I'm not coming back. 
Okay, so you was going there and you was doing question time and was you doing other things for BBC? And is that yeah, I done bruv, I was working with the BBC bear, so okay. I'd done okay. one extra. Okay. I'd been on one extra loads. Um mm. I've been on one extra loads. I, I done their black history month thing with one extra. Um I done five live multiple times. Yeah. I done some BBC television thing with them. Bro, I even done a show on E4 with um Jeez, talk the talk the with, things with, there. with Russell Kane as well, blood. Like and uh, Russell Kane, the comedian. Mm -hmm. Like I've done bare random TV stuff, bro. Um mm -hmm. and then even around the Grenfell time, I went on BBC two to do that. Um what is that? woman's name that has the show something derbyshire or something what the hell's her name chat let us know the chat will know 100 percent. the chat will know i even um, went on her show around the grenfell time because i grew up near there do you know what i'm saying okay. so i was doing loads of mainstream stuff bro and then it got to the point where is it and derbyshire or something or something i, I can't remember bro the chat will know the but, chat um victoria derbyshire the chat's name. there we go there we go See? i knew the chat oh, yeah, would know. that's the one um so yeah, I went on their show around um, co um, around Grenfell time. I done so many things, bro. Do you know what I mean? So it got to the point where I remember I went to one extra again, and I went. Well, I'd been so many times, bro. I can't even. I lost count. And you I basically been said so many times, and you was just yeah. like, all right. You and keep I said to me, these, man, guests. yeah. And I said to them respectfully, yeah, you can't keep using me for. Black History Month and this thing and that thing, you need to give me my own show in it because like I deserve it in it. Like you use me because you know I'm good, hmm. and it's like at that time I wanted to get into radio. Like I actually enjoyed it. Do you know yeah. what I'm saying? So obviously, like big up Snoochie as well. She was there, Snoochie shy, but like I remember when I said you man need to give me a show. And they basically said to me, you know what? Um, the guy said, we know that you deserve one, but it's kind of out of our hands kind of thing. It's the, the high ticking. This is nonsense. And then they said, and then they said, they were looking for like a different sound. And then in the end, that Sideman bro ended up getting the show instead of me, bro. And that was the final straw for me, if I'm honest. Right, Remember you. the Sideman brother, um, he's uh, from it's Birmingham or something. Hey, chat let us know again. Chat yeah, that sideman all day or something was his name or something. Brummy, mm, the chat will know. The chat will know exactly who you're talking about. This yeah. is my head. I don't remember him. Yeah, well, yeah carry on from. Uh, well, there you go. That's the point. Like, so <laughs> he ended up not not even in a disrespectful way, but he He's ended saying. up having a show with ZZ Mills on that. I don't even know if he still makes content, but yeah. the point is, yeah, they said because he's got a different kind of accent. It's a different kind of sound on the thing. And because I got a thick London accent and that, they were like, oh, you know what? They prefer his voice to, to my voice, even though I done way more. And I yeah. got way more skin in the game than, man. Yeah, You know them, man? Um, way more skin in the game. So, and I done way more for BBC, yeah, than him at that time. So I was like, you know what, bruv? One you lot, innit? You bet like, on yourself. Not, yeah. I was like, if you're not going to give me my own show... Just don't call my phone again, respectfully. You know them ones. It's not even a beef thing. It's like, yo, I'm better than being a, a guest on someone it's else's just show. A brand? Yeah. Yeah. So I'm like, I'm better than being a guest on someone else's show that I'm better than. Do you know yeah. what I'm saying? And that's always been my thing, innit? Yeah. My thing has always been, yeah. If you're not better than me, then you're not better than me. If you're better than me, or you've got something that you have, I, I hold my hands up. You hold hands up and I, say, oh, that's quality, bro, that's talent. Bro, yes. I always say, I always say to my followers all the time, yeah, not, everyone's not born equal. Same They're not way. born equal, bro. Look at me and my brothers, bro. Do you know what I'm saying? Look at X, bro. And then my younger brother was in Grime Kids. He's an actor. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, we all came out of the same house, bro. Well, you think it was an accident? You know, it's not an accident. Like, everyone's not born equal, bro. Do you know what I mean? What, you think Venus and Serena Williams was an accident? No. Do you know what Some I'm saying? It was I say this. Some people are gifted. There's, there's yeah, but, but that's what I'm saying, bro. It's not an accident, bro. Genetics matter. Upbringing matters. Mm. 
Do you know what I'm saying? But more than the upbringing, the genetics matter. You know, like that. Like, I know my sense of humor. I get from my dad. Do you know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, I know that. Do you know what I'm Crazy. saying? Crazy part is, it's me the same. My pops is me. Like, That's <laughs> what I mean. But my dad's, got, my dad's got a dry sense of humor like me. Like, my wit and my my sharpness, Yeah, I get from my dad. Like, my yeah. dad would always be the one. That, like, my dad's quiet. But then he'll just make these little... Co- <laughs> these he'll little make the co- jokes and that. Just, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, my dad that. would say certain things and I'm just on the floor laughing. And I know that's where I get that from. Whereas my brother's yeah. more like my mum. He's a bit louder. Like yeah, my mum's the loud one and my dad's the quiet one. Do you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. And I'm more like my dad and my brother's more like my mum. Do you yeah. know what I'm saying? So I, I know where all this comes from. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? So it's one of them things where like my mum, my mum used to sing and used to like play like the piano and the thing in church. Right. And yeah. my mum's musical, my whole family's musical. And then my brother used to rap. And my, brother's more, so my, and my brother's yeah. more like my mom yeah. and I'm more like my dad, but it still comes yeah. from somewhere. So yes. it's not, this is not, it's not an everyone's born equal thing. It's not bro. Like, so I if I see saying. someone and I know their thing's good and I'll be like, you know what? They're patterned. Yeah. Like, cool. I respect it. But yeah. I'm the kind of guy, if, if you invite me on the show and I'm better than the host, I don't want to go back because <laughs> I'm like, yo, give me my show. If this person's got a show, I want my show because I'm better than this person. And you give them a full show. Yeah, which I'm is fair. Which is fair. I understand that that viewpoint and why we but that's why normal you human that. nature, bro. Back in the day, yeah. yeah, it was like it was a Debo thing. What bike? Give me that bike. Do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> what like, that's what it was. Yeah. <laughs> that's what it was. Bye, bye. So Where so back in the day, you? if you was better than someone and they had something you want, you just took it. <laughs> you know like that like bruv, that's what human nature is that's why they say survival of the fittest because yeah. the baddest man walked off with everything if that's your yeah. girl i wanna that's mine bye that's my girl. <laughs> do you know what i'm saying that's what it was what what you know what i'm saying like what you're not gonna eat that are you? you're not gonna eat that safe take my plate my did my comment it's my comment that's it. <laughs> yeah. bro it's my so when i'm going to bbc and then man want me to sit on shows with people that i'm better than i'm like nah yeah. i want this show or i'm not coming back cuz to me yeah. i feel like a dickhead cuz then that's i'm carrying cool. the show anyway but then they're getting paid more than me yeah i get you Fully do you know what i mean that. so i'm not going to go and carry their show and me not get paid nah like that's mad not paid the way they're getting paid and then they've got the guaranteed bread and i got the guest fee nah 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 no. I was like, give me that government check, bro. That's what I that's what I said to BBC, bro. I was like, because my idea was, yo, give me the government check. So man could be on the government um PAYE so I can get my government get my house. You know them ones. In yes. my head, I was like, you know what? Give me the government right. check so I can get my mortgage. So that that mortgage. was what my thought process mm-hmm. was when I was a lot younger. This was like six mm-hmm. years ago, seven years ago now. Damn, time flies. It's like seven years ago. Mm-hmm. So I was like, yo, give me my government cheese, bro, so I can go get my get my like, mortgage. You can get your house, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You, you know, know like that. Own mortgage, rent, whatever yeah. the case may be, allows me to do whatever I want to do in regards to home owning in some in some shape, form, or fashion. I fully hear that. No, so I that's that. why I wanted to do the mainstream thing because I was like, yo, just give me my little my, yeah, you know I mean, give me my regular money, my regular show get my yard or whatever like it was just that kind of thing because sitting down talking on the radio is easy for me yeah radio and then cool. after exactly but then after i told that man to allow it um yeah. i was just like all right i'm gonna focus online and then bro i was killing it broski i was, was killing talking it. about everything still online at this point so you're talking football politics girl just reacting to stuff skits was you just on facebook at this point still or did you i was just on facebook or, like, i never went facebook, on right? I what I did was I made a YouTube, yeah, but I was just reposting the stuff that I posted on Facebook on YouTube as well. Okay, but I wasn't, yeah. but I but YouTube wasn't my main platform. Yeah, YouTube didn't. You had a YouTube account, but you were yeah. just taking the videos from Facebook and uploading them onto YouTube, right? Go exactly. Ahead. So it was the same videos. I wasn't making just YouTube content. I didn't start posting exclusively on YouTube till about twenty night well after i stopped 2018 then so yeah so i started posting on youtube probably about 2019 because yeah end of 2018 i would have stopped posting on facebook 
2019, I would have started on... Um... And what was the decision behind that in regards to stop posting on Facebook because you've had so much success, views, num followings big on there that you're like, All right, I'm going to stop posting on the Facebook and go to the YouTube? Money. Was it money for first? Yeah, bro, because... All of them followers on Facebook, yeah, but Facebook weren't paying. So I was making money by doing the mainstream stuff. Got so you, when man. I was going to BBC, they was paying me. Vice yeah. was paying me. Do you know what I'm saying? And it's nice, bro. When I done the Channel 14, yeah, bro. Nice nice bags. Bro, skate. Nice bag. Bro, skate. When man say, yo, Rance, you can, can you come and film for half a day? We'll send a car to pick you up, bring you to the studio, drop you back. Do you know what I'm saying? And I can make, yeah, in that half a day, two weeks worth of gym money. Woo! In half a day. Talk about it. I was like, yo, is this this is the life, yeah. So when I saw that, I was like, I can't post for free on Facebook no more. Well, yeah. I was like, it's not making sense. You knew you worth just, again. Like yeah. the BBC thing, you yeah. knew your worth once you've realized I was that. Like, like, I'm not going to I need to it. start play, posting on YouTube. So at least I can make a little bit of money yeah, out of the content I'm putting up. Mm -hmm. And then obviously I've already built a network of people that already know me from Facebook that are paying me also. So the YouTube, switching from Facebook to YouTube was purely a financial decision. And you know how hard it is leaving a channel that's got hundreds of thousands of people to go and start a channel on zero yeah, mm -hmm. and upload and not get the same dopamine hit of 80,000, 100,000. And you're starting from zero again. And I've done it no problem, but most people can't do that. Yeah. Most people can't do that because... That's a brave, that's a brave decision to make, to leave 100K, to go to zero yeah. on YouTube and not get them 100K people over straight away as well. Yeah, but most people that. can't deal with not getting the instant gratification, you know, mm. like that. They can't deal with it. But for me, I was like, well, I've done it once, I can do it again. That was always yeah. my mentality. It's just like, who cares, man? Yeah, like, I, I did it once, I can do it again. I backed myself. As you should, and, God believe and this is, yes. And this is what a lot of people don't do. They don't back themselves. Talk about it, family. They don't. I always back myself. So I left 100,000. I ain't posted in six years. Yeah. And now I'm hitting, going to hit 100,000 again on this platform. Facts. As you are. That's going to get there soon. I'm telling you. You know, like that. So get there soon. it's one of them ones where I moved to YouTube specifically just to start monetizing all my hard work. Yeah. Um, was still doing a lot of mainstream stuff. Like even yeah. when I ended up linking up with Flex, um, I was still doing the mainstream stuff. So okay. it's one of and them before, ones. I didn't cut it off. Yeah, and before we get to linking up with Flex, that whole journey, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, first and foremost, are you lot not entertained? Sarcasm City TV special. Rants is in the building. Over 480 people here. Let's run up the likes. We're at 266. Let's get up to 350. Like check 1212. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Sarcasm City TV. Make sure you subscribe to Rants' channel as well. The link is in the title, people. Like I said, run up the likes. Continue to share across to the, all the socials. Follow Rants across all the socials. And that's me, Flawless. You see it right there on the screen. At Sarcasm City TV as well. So this journey is just getting good, people. You know what I'm saying? We're getting a full backstory here from Rants in regards to this. Don't worry, you lot. I will get to the Super Chat shortly as well. But we got to run up these likes. And like I said, hit the subscribe button. Road to 11K here on Sarcasm City TV. Road to 100K for Rants. He going to get there expeditiously. So, yeah. So, obviously, now you've trans you've gone over from Facebook. You're now on YouTube. You're now doing, still continuing to do the mainstream thing. How did you link up with Flex? And was there a conscious decision from you to go the footballing route before? Or was it when you've met up with Flex, you was like, all right, let me run the football inside it. Let me run with the more football, predominantly football content. Honestly, um, how can I say this? Um, <laughs> Just say how Rance would say it. Go on. Obviously, I consumed the football content, yeah, mm. before, and I was just like, I'm better than these guys. I can do this. Talk about it, man. But honestly, bro, like that, that that's just the, that's the most me way I can say that. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm. Because you know what it was? Um, I had so much success doing other things, but football's mm. always been my first true love, like, in my life, innit? Yeah, yeah. Like, man's played football from I could walk. Do you know what I mean? My uncle, RIP, 
the reason why I support Manchester Absolutely. United, he was a football coach. And as soon as I could walk, my mum's brother had me playing football. Yeah. Had me supporting Man United. Got that. Watching Eric Cantona. And he had the same birthday as Oli Gunnar Solskjaer. That's what's so funny. So crazy. He he used to love Oli, yeah, because they had the same birthday, innit? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, and it was one of them ones where um and like I remember when we won in 99 and that and Oli scored the goal, my uncle was yeah, was so mad gassed. At crazy. Like, do you know what I'm saying? So because of my my uncle, I've always been a football guy. And the thing is, people know, knew me for my personality, but football is literally my superpower. Like, mm-hmm. So I was like, right, people know me for all these other things, but football is literally my life. Like, it's been my whole life. From mm-hmm. I remember when I used to travel to train, to train with Fulham, yeah? And I'm from Northwest. And I used to travel to Southwest as a child, bro. Jeez. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, on public transport. So imagine you're 11 years old and you're traveling from Northwest to Southwest, bro. Like, so, so bro, like football's been my whole life. I remember, I just remember, like, I don't remember life without football. Football's everything. It's always been everything to me. Do you know what I mean? I had my first knee surgery when I was 15 years old, bro. Miss, missed out on, on, on a pros. Like, bro, like I've been through a lot with football, innit? Like I've traveled around the world playing football, um, playing in different countries, going on trials in different places. Like, brother, I've done so many things, isn't it? So, um, football is a massive part of my identity and a massive part of my character. Because right. I've been in the football setup here, football hardens you at a very young age because you go through things, you see things, you feel yeah. things that normal kids your age don't see and they don't feel, bro. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Football football exposes you to how cold the world is, yeah, at a very, very young age when you're competing with people. When you're in, like, an academy and you know only two or three men's going to make it, like, in your head, you know it's only two or three of us. Yeah, that's crazy. Do you know what I'm saying? It's only yeah. two or three of us, bro. Like, if we're lucky, sometimes it might even be one because more times yeah. your club can buy players. They don't need to bring players through. Like, that's true. Do you know what I'm saying? So it's very much that mentality where you're super competitive, super young. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? And then yeah. having to deal with injuries, having to deal with um loads of different things loads of different setbacks and all of these other things bro it hardens you from a young age bro do you know what i'm saying so it's one of them ones where football shaped me in life bro in general yeah do you know what i'm saying and this it's is what like it is just it, you talk from it yeah I yeah get yeah like even to the point where football teaches you that the best players don't make it you know like that and that's a lesson that you can take into life just because yeah. you're the best doesn't mean you're going to make it. Doesn't right. mean that, bro. Like, th- how many times is the guy that wasn't the best player in his school team here yeah, make it? Do you know what I'm saying? It happens all the time. A lot of the brothers that were in academies at my school, yeah, were not the best players at school. Hmm. They were not the best players right. at school. There were certain men that was in academies that didn't get into my school team, bro. That's crazy. Do you know Mama what I'm saying? Professional academies, but didn't make the school team. Yeah, they didn't make the school team because they weren't good enough. Do you know yeah. what I mean? But they were good enough to play in academies, but they weren't good enough to play for the school team because my school team mm. was cold. You know, like that. Mm. So it's one of them ones. Like, my ends has got ballers. Mm. You know, like that. Like, Yannick Balassi and Raheem Sterling are just two ballers out of my ends, yeah, to make to play in the Prem. But yeah. forget the Prem, blood. When I'm telling you, like, leagues all the way down into non-league and that, bro, Northwest, the amount of ballers here is crazy. Got you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I crazy. Hate. You know, like that. So, brother, like, it's not easy getting into that school team, fam. Yeah, you know, you. like that. So, they were yeah, youths that couldn't get nowhere near that school team or couldn't get nowhere near, like, the district team, like, the Brent team, because we had ballers. Mm. You couldn't get nowhere near it, but, man, we're in academies. Like, football teaches you harsh lessons, bro. It, again, mm. it's not how good you are sometimes. It's who you know. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Because they were loads it's not what, of it's not how good you are is who you know. Because like you said, someone said it already in the chat in regards to oh, somebody's dad being close to a coach or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. A hundred percent. 
and this is and this is exactly what it is, bro. So you need to realize, yeah, it's like you're learning important life lessons because you're seeing brothers that can't make the school team, but they're in an academy, and you're like, right, how come he's in an academy and he's not, and he's mm. not, and he's not, and then you realize, ooh, this is life. Do you know what I mean? And it's yeah. the same goes for TV. You think, oh, how come he got a TV show? How come he got a TV show? How come mm -hmm. he got a radio show? I can't get a radio show. Yeah. I'm That's better than him. Doesn't matter. Do yeah. you know what I mean? Doesn't matter. But yeah. online, I'm the master of my own destiny. So yeah. I don't need to rely on these men to give me a TV show or give me a radio show. I make my own show. What? Mm -mm 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 -mm. You know what I mean? That's what it is. I build my own channel, make my own thing. Now no one can't tell me no. Yeah. And, and that's why I don't go nowhere, bro. Because no one's telling me shit, bro. It's my channel. What are you gonna do? You control it. Yeah, yeah. I control my channel, mm. and that's why my channel is exactly what it is. It's about me, bro. If I decide I want to do, if I want to vlog and I want to do like more lifestyle gym content, which I'm gonna venture into, yeah, I know I can do that. It's my channel. People are here for me. Mm. When I when I want to watch tennis, man, them are watching tennis with me. When yes. I want to talk about gal and do rants reacts, man, them are here for that. When I want to talk about football, man, are here for that, bro. That's what it is. And no one can't tell me I can't do it because it's mine. Hmm. Do you know what I'm saying? And and that's just what it is. So man's not really on the mainstream stuff because I'm not I'm not prepared to bite my tongue, not say certain things, pretend I don't see certain things. Yeah. Because one way or another, yeah, these men have compromised themselves. Whether but people see it as a positive or a negative thing, they've compromised themselves. Hmm. Do you know what I'm saying? Because there'll be things that they see that they can't and say they nothing call, about. Yeah, and they didn't call it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hundred percent. Or man will be on the TV with like a Roy Keane, and he might say something. Or like you're on TV with Carragher, and he mm. says something, and I'm I'm like, you know what? This feels a bit racially charged. But oh, I can't say nothing because I can't start beef on the TV. I'm starting beef on the camera. Yeah. I Do you know it. what I'm saying? Bruv, yeah. when, when Man United play, yeah, and Martial's not playing and Rashford plays badly, and then my man decides to try and draw out Martial and start talking about Paul Pogba, I'll have to ask him a question. I'll be like, all right, cool. So, so all right, where's this, where's this Vim? Yeah, yeah, where's this Vim coming from, bruv? Like, do you want to talk about it? Is there something you want to talk about? Is there yeah. more to this? Do you know what I'm saying? Man are not going to mm -hmm. ask questions. And the thing is, you have to compromise yourself to be in these situations, bro. You have to bite your tongue. You have to let man disrespect you. You have to do what it is. I'm not prepared to do that. Got you. Oh, that's fair. So in regards to that, like you said, you're still doing mainstream. You've now gone over to YouTube. How did the link up with, and you said football is a part of your life. It's your first true love. Now I appreciate your uncle who put you on major a United fan, etc. How did the link up come about with Flex? Um, we just, we spoke on Twitter. Um, I can't I can't remember exactly how it happened. All I can say is I remember like I had my season ticket. I used to be going to Old Trafford yeah. and I always used to see him trying to stop people for fan, like stop people for fan cams. And them times full time devils was the main channel. No one was stopping for fan cams with flex. I just remember. Yeah. Ooh, I just remember like I so imagine I used to go to Man United games with with Adam McCola. Right. Got you. I used to go to games with Adam. And the reason why I used to go to games with Adam is because my boys, we had season tickets. We had about three season tickets, but between five of us. Mm -hmm. So we wouldn't we wouldn't always all go. And a few of the men them had kids and that. So like my 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 guys would hit me up and say, yo, I'm with the kids. Take um, the season ticket. I'm with the kids, so I'm not using the ticket. You wanna roll? So I used to go to Birmingham, stop in Birmingham on the way to Manchester, because they live in Brum. Yeah. And Adam lives in Brum. So I used to go to the games myself. And then man, once man realized that Adam lived in Birmingham, me and Adam like met at the games before. Yeah. And then I would say, yo, I'm in Brum. Let's link up and go to the game together. So yeah. I would have to go to collect the season ticket. And yeah. then like after the game, if I wasn't going via Birmingham, I'd give Adam the season ticket. And my brethren would link Adam in Birmingham. You know them because it was in between. Yeah, you know them. Yeah. So, so that's what it was. And then, like, I would go to the games and I would notice that Flex was there. That was another channel because my first ever fan cam was on Full Time Devils. It wasn't on. Um, 
You know what I'm saying? Right. So basically, I remember going to the game with Adam one time, and mm. he made a comment, something like, just kind of saying, oh, that's kind of like the other channel, like we don't chat to them kind of thing. Oh, right. Do you know okay. what I'm saying? Yeah. That yeah. was it. But I weren't thinking nothing of it because I'm yeah. not involved in this YouTube thing. Like, I'm yeah. not involved in it. You're just looking at it as just another channel. You're not looking at because yeah. you just on the, the fact you're not like your allegiance isn't to full time devils at that point. Got you. Yeah. So I didn't. I I've got no allegiance to no one. I'm just a guy going to watch football anyway. I've re I've met Adam because he's always at the games. I'm always at the games. And obviously, when you come out, how it is, these men would stop people for fan camps. Do you know what I'm saying? So that's how it was. So me and Adam weren't brethren. We just we he was familiar of who I was because of what I did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was familiar you. with who he was because of what he did. Go you. And then yeah. we just kept seeing each other at games. That yeah. was it. So I was just like, all right, cool. Like, cause I was going up from Birmingham, then we ended up going to games together, innit? Like a few times. And yeah, basically, I used to see Flex, but I didn't know him. Mm. And I just used to see him with his microphone and whatnot and whatever. And then I don't know how. I think me and Flex just started talking online. Um, and this is Twitter, you said, right? Yeah, on Twitter. Is, because so you had set up a Twitter account by this point, and was that yeah, I'd just set up, I'd set up a Twitter account, and that was just purely for content. Okay, okay. And what so, year was this around? Was this 2019? This, this would have been around 2018 to 2019, I think. Okay, okay. I don't know when I started on that channel. I think it was 2019. So mm -hmm. it would have been... I think it'd have been 2019 after I came off Facebook because that's what the timeline suggests to me. So, yeah, me and Flex were talking. I think, yeah, Flex definitely knew who I was and he had seen my stuff and he said, oh, yeah, I love your stuff, this, that, and the other. And I didn't quite know how that channel worked or what they were about. So I was kind of picking his brains and I was like, oh, like, what do you guys do? Like, what's your thing? How does the channel work? Whatever. Because me, I'm just like, I'm just seeing another black brother. Yeah. yeah, so you just seen, yeah, I get you. I'm just so seeing another black like, guy. What's going on? Yeah. Yeah. So I'm just seeing another black guy. So, um, big up to Ryan. <laughs> so when Adam said to me, yeah, when Adam said to me, oh, yeah, that's the other Man United channel, we kind of don't, we don't chat to them kind of thing. Yeah. I'm in my head, I'm like, cool, that's your beef. That's not mine. You know yeah, them? Right. Yeah, yeah. My first United Stand fan cam was 2018. 2018. Right. See, that's what I mean. Even he, it's that far back. My time. Yeah, see? yeah, yeah. So that means this was in 2018. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? So, mm. so then, see me, I don't inherit no one's beefs. Because yeah. they're saying, yeah, I don't talk to them, man. And I'm just seeing another black man like me. You know them? Yeah, you just that's what I'm black, yeah, working. So you're like, all right, let me just pick his brains and see what's what and obviously that so i was like funny. yo how do things work over there and then uh, when i started to realize that flex was from northwest as well and then he moved to luton when he was younger but he's from ends yeah. like my, my dad knows his family and all of that oh geez i didn't know that yeah my dad knows his family because northwest first generation like jamaicans like you know uh, like that yeah, so yeah, yeah. Right. the ends he was from like neesden man's from halsden it's all you get me Nigga. So it's like my dad knows Robbie, my dad, know, but all these times I didn't know that at the time. Oh, my, Do you crazy. know what I'm saying? Now, I mean, my dad used to be on the sound systems with Robbie, blood like crazy. You know I me, mean? you know, real yard man vibes. So, yeah, 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 so I didn't know all of this. This is all that I find out later. Do you mm. know what I'm saying? But at the beginning, all I'm seeing is, yeah, another black brother with a London accent doing Man United content, and I can relate to that because i'm like yo this brother looks like me and he sounds like me kind of thing yeah. and then come to find that man's from my ends anyway do you know what i'm saying so yeah. we started talking online and i remember flex was on holiday i think he was in miami at the time or something because i remember yeah. he was on the sun lounges whatever like and i spoke to him and i said yo we need to do a football show when you get back it's gonna be mad and he was kind of like yeah, like we should do something kind of thing, but he didn't know what. I said, bro, listen, we need to do a show. Like it was all my idea, blood. Like fully. Right, right, right. I just said, yo, we need to do this football yeah, show. And you need to do a show. Yeah. No one's doing content like this. Yeah. You know the one? No one. Yeah. At the time, there was no one sitting down and just chopping it up about football. Fuck fan yeah. cams. 
I'm talking, talking about just sit from a lo- down. In, a, in a more longer length time. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's it. Sit down and just chop it up about bull, bro. Do you know what I mean? This is 2018. Do you know what I'm saying? Because after that, I remember um I think Robbie and Troops had a show. Was it like was it the Bias Premier League show? Was that Robbie and Troops? Yeah, that Bias Premier League show, yes, yes. But that was much All later. But yeah, I remember. But that was much Premier later. Show. That's what I'm trying yeah. to say. I when I said that we need to do this flex and rant show sit down thing, yeah. No one yeah. was making football content like that. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? And I, I mean, said we need to do this because I know me, yeah. Even when you look at my platform, I am a long form conversationalist football fan because man likes to discuss the nuances, the tactics, and everything. And all these other things you can't get in a short period of time. So I mm. need to sit down. That's when I can flex my muscles, bro. When man can sit down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? And have a proper conversation. So I was like, yo, we need to do this show. Um, at first we were doing it um in a studio. Before you um, get to that though, yeah. had so so for you to say that to flex during that summer and say let's do a show had you two had conversations before that where you was like a show between me and you would work? nah not really bro i just knew bro listen oh. it was simple i was just like you're black you're from london so am i you <laughs> so know them man you've got the, it, you've man. got the channel the channel's not doing that well yeah like well it's not it's not doing rubbish but i mean it's not where it could be yeah it could and go i further. said and i yeah. said to him bro I said, yo, we can have the biggest channel in the country. I said this to him. Mm. If I'm lying, I'm dying, bro. Yeah. And at the time, yeah, when you ain't even got 100,000 subs on full-time devils on 500,000, you can't see it that. But crazy. I did. Yeah. I you saw it, it though. Because you just seen it. I'm black. He's black. I'm from yeah. London. You're from London. I know ball. You know ball. Yeah. Let's go. Because we'll get onto that. Because the chemistry between you two ridiculous yeah because okay. i was like we need a show for the mandem there's no show for the mandem yeah. bro when there i'm looking no at this yeah. football space there's no representation for me do you know what i mean the mm. reason why AFTV did so well is because troops and dt yeah are relatable yes do you know what i'm saying you got the white yes. boy from luton with the cap and that with the tattoos it's relatable yeah. and then you got troops from Northwest, fan right. blood, smokes weed, whatever, bro. He's relatable. He's relatable. Troops. Ever, you know everyone saying? knows. Even if you're not from London, which I'm yeah. not, like, there's a troop. I know a troops in the ends. Yeah. He's relatable. Yeah, troops remind. I've said this. Troops reminds me of my older cousin. I got an older cousin who reminds me of troops heavy. It's crazy. Exactly. So I was like, bro, listen, Man United is the biggest. Man United is the biggest club in the world. Yeah, hmm. we've got massive followings on the continent of Africa and Asia. All these places where these men are not represented. Yeah. We need man them that looks like our fan base. And that's what full-time devils weren't doing. You know them as they had all the local fans, and we were meant to be the channel for everyone else. That yeah, was what yeah. I envisioned it as, and that's what I sold to Flex. I was like, bro, this is what we can be, bro. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. and the numbers speak for themselves. I left that like 800 k but um when you look at the following and the demographic. Massive following in India, massive following on the content of Africa and all these things, bro. And seeing faces like us and then Saeed's later on, this and and then flipping Aaron's and then bro, this is this is this is what built the channel. Yes. Oh, absolutely. As a fan and as a consumer at that point, yes. I yeah. watched it for you, man. Flex and Ranch show. This is what built the channel at the beginning. At one point, music. we were the fastest growing channel on the platform, bro. At mm. one point, because we overtook full time devils quickly, bro. Yeah. Like, do you know what I'm saying? Like, when the turnaround was mad, like, yeah. we had a 550,000 party, and me, me, Mark, and Flex, we done like a live yeah. meet and greet. And I'm sure, yeah, that within two years, yeah, we surpassed that channel. I think it could have been less than two years. I think we did that. Crazy. Like, we done it in crazy amount of time, bro. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm. We done it in a crazy amount of time. And I said to Flex that this is what we could do, bro. And the Flex mm. and Ranch show was literally like, that was the beginning of when the channel trajectory started to, to do that, bro. Started yeah. started to go up, bro. Like, it was the beginning, bro. Like, a lot mm. of people that I know, that people that know me now, a lot of them started watching when I was on the channel and didn't watch it before. Oh, yeah, facts. I'd never heard of it until you, man. You that yeah. I got put onto that channel, and you and everybody else was through 
Bro, oh, I hadn't what? heard of it before I went on it. <laughs> bro, 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 I had more followers than the channel. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. I hear you. Trust me. Do you understand trust. what I'm saying, bro? I went on yeah. there in 2018. and 2018, I already had 100,000. Yeah. Do you understand what I'm saying? So this myth yeah. that that channel made me or this brag put yeah, me on, bro. Bro, I was him before him. Yeah. And him after him. Th that's what I'm saying. Do you know Talk what I'm saying? It. But this is what I'm trying to say, bro. So... This is why that is the only thing about when people say that, make comments like that, this prayer made you, you should be grateful, bro. I would have been, I would have been successful no matter what I was oh, yeah. doing because that's who I am. Yeah, you would have been calm regardless. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's you. who I am. Even when I was working in the gym, bro, no one was making more money than me in the gym. You mm. know why, bro? Because I am good with people, bro. That's all people, YouTube that's... is, bro. I'm just talking to people. People can relate to what I'm saying. They like how I deliver things. So yeah. that's how I make money in the gym, bro. Because people hang out with me. When you're training clients, bro, you you get to entertain someone for an hour. <laughs> My clients didn't want the session to end. These men were laughing their fucking heads off. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? That They were chilling I mean... with me. We were training. They were telling me about their day. I was making them laugh. Do you know what I'm saying? Jokes, I'm running bants, running yeah, bare jokes. Man are taking the piss out of other people in the gym. Yo, look what my man's doing and that. Them man were getting a free hour episode. You know, like that. that, that that's yeah, what they yeah. were getting. So, bro, I was cleaning up in the gym, bro. Do you yeah. know what I'm saying? Bro, I wasn't making less than four bags, four bags a month in the gym. I weren't making less than that. I was making at least mm. a bag a week in the gym, bro. Certain yeah. man are playing professional football, making I what I... Yeah, bro, making less than what I was making in um in the gym. In the gym, yeah. But I get you. I fully hear that. I fully hear that. So the show's doing well. Well, the show's doing better than well. Ascending. Yeah. Your brand continues to ascend. Flex is ascending. The Flex and Ranch show. The rest of the gang gang as well, which we'll get to in a second. So all of that. Did you take? Did you step aside and take a look and go, all right, this is fire what we've done because you thought of something, thought of an idea executed with executed it with flex did it even shock you the rate it happened or did you fully expect it nah bro nothing surprises me because mm. i'm such a deep thinker here that i don't start something without actually painting a picture of what it's supposed to look like in my head before okay you know like that so mm. think about it i looked at the other channel and i said these men are mainly local fans yeah yeah. And they've got 500,000. So that means we should have a million, bro, because there's a whole different parts of the globe that we ain't touched, bro. And even them, they didn't really have representation on their channel. Um, Adam mm. was the darkest person on their channel. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I, yeah, no, no, but that's how I was looking at it, bro. I, yeah, I that did the was math. your mindset. I did the yeah. math in my head. And yeah. I was like, bro, there's a whole audience. Like, I grew up in London. And the funny thing is, yeah, as a Man United fan, yeah, if you're born and raised in in Manchester, yeah, and you're you're white British or white English or whatever, however you identify yourself, there's a certain there's a certain snobbery. You you would have seen it. You know them ones from the man that are from Man United. It's like, oh, you're not a real Man United fan. You're not for you, you, the the Southern this, and you're not from here. And yeah, they try. They, they try that. I've seen yeah. them try that with you. Yeah. And obviously, in regards they to do it. No, the thing is, they do they do that in it. So. I was just like, bro, because I've grown up in London, I'm like, bro, I know how many Man United fans are in London. There's probably more yeah. in London than there is in Manchester because London's a lot bigger than Manchester. Yeah. yeah Do you know what yeah. I'm saying? When I was growing up in school, everyone was Man United or Arsenal. Everyone. Do you know what I'm well, saying? It's like so, down here, to be honest, the school down here for me, it was Manchester United and Arsenal. They were the two main representatives. But that's what I'm trying to Chelsea. say. It was Liverpool, but it's mainly Manchester United. And but then if you speak to people from Man from Manchester, a lot of Manx will say City's the proper Manchester club. You know what I mean? That's what they'll say. They'll say City's the, the, the local yeah. club. Do you know what I mean? And Man United's the commercial club. It's always kind of been that kind of attitude. Mm. So just doing the math in my head and realising that most, most of the man them that I knew in the ends were either Arsenal or Man United. There's obviously more Arsenal than Man United, but Man United held their own. I'm thinking just with the sheer concentration of Man United supporters in London, yeah? Yeah. Bro, like, there's bare man that can relate to me, bro. Bare man that can relate to me. Mm. And and that's what it was. And I was like, the other channel wasn't diverse at all. Do you know what I'm saying? And this yeah. is... 
And that's exactly what it was. So I was like, bro, like there's a lack of diversity. There's a lack of a certain demographic that's being spoken to. And you know the amount of messages I got from all around the world, like at the at the peak of when man was over there saying, oh, like it's so good to have Man United fans that look like me. Do you know what I mean? Oh, Being it, represented it, 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 in that. Relatable. That's what yeah. it was. That's what I seen from the channel is like, oh, Flex and Rants. I don't know them personally, but yeah. I know man them like that. You know what I'm saying? They're mm. us. If we, they were from Manchester, they us talking with us. If we, from oh, That's Manchester, what I'm trying to say. You man are a black from man from up there and you man hadn't even been represented up there until that's... we rolled through. Yes. That's you what know, I said. Like that. That on the intro, I was like, you was the first Manchester United mm. fan to put on for us 100%. Mm. And people, it's not a color thing, it's culture. It's culture, white exactly. Fans will know there's white boys who I know who are culturally us. Speak it's on it. Tone. It's, it's Speak got like it. you not see Cam Cam on this channel all the time. Cam Cam's white, but Cam Cam from a culture standpoint yeah. is us. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Same way, you white say. boys or Asian boys who grew up with you, they're you. Do you get what I'm but saying? That's why right. when I see Saeed. When I Whoa. see Aaron, when I see Flawless, that's Mandem. It's not Manchester, yeah. London. It's not that. That's just Mandem, bro. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? It's just Mandem. Because yeah. I've got Somali friends in London. Do you know what I'm yeah. saying? I've got Caribbean friends in London. It's just Mandem, bro. It's a culture thing. It's not a... It's a culture thing. It's not it's a colour. People get mistaken. It's not a colour thing, bro. No. Do you know what it's I'm culture. saying? So, yeah. culturally, there's a lot of men that support my football club that can relate to how I articulate myself. Mm. How I speak, how I dress, all these other things that next man can't relate to. That's why, like, even me, like, I brought Harry Panero on the United stand. Mm. Do you know what mm. I'm saying? I'm the one that brought Harry on because me and Harry were doing some commercial work with New Era. Um, mm. And we were staying... What's that bougie hotel in Manchester um, with, uh. that the Boohoo brothers, the, the Boohoo brothers own, blood? The man had the Lambos out front. Chat but, chat um... With yeah, me and Harry were staying in that mad hotel, yeah. And I remember it was a Man United game, and I was, and obviously I was up there with New Era, but I was like, "Yo, I'm gonna bring Harry on to do a fan cam." Do you know what I mean? And then Av came on as well. Do you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. And like, bro, that was a vibe. I think we won that game as well, and it was, it was lit. But it's like I wanted to bring the Mandem on the channel. Like that was yeah, my yeah. thing. Do you know what he I'm was saying? Like, so, bring more. Yeah, 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 yeah. He was like, so bring all more like Harry Panero. Um, like Avelino, um, even when I brought Alexis from ESPN on there, she's a yardie, you get me? Mm. And it's one of them ones. I was like, I want the man them to just, you get me? Just be yeah, on yeah. the channel. Was, I want yeah, yeah. everyone to just... So you're you ascending at that point, Flex and Ranch shows blowing yeah. up. You're blowing up on socials. Fan cam's doing great numbers. Your numbers are going up in regards to socials, so your Twitter, your Instagram. What was it like? And you mentioned it already when Saeed and Aaron and Nuruddin all then joined the channel. You was all for that, like their family. It was wavy, blood. But then also okay. Adam came through as well. And Adam Shout was Adam low, local mank. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So Adam Shout came Adam through. Yeah, we yeah, had yeah. a, bro, listen, our roster was crazy. Oh, that like, I say that. I say it all the time. Death Row. Yeah, bro. I you say see all that the time. That there is... was mad. You see the I fan cams. Me, Death Row in the Saeed, night. Adam, Ricky. Like, bro. Yeah. Like Aaron, man's Nuridin. fan cams were going off. Adam knew it, bro. Yeah. Listen, bro. When I tell you the roster was crazy, it the was roster. fake. Do you know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, you know, like when man say, yeah, like when man look that look back at the AC Milan 05 team, bro. That's <laughs> our thing was crazy. That's why we absolutely blew the other channel out the water, bro. Because yeah. bro, the characters we had, the diverse characters we had was untouchable, bro. Yeah. Like we had everything. Do you know what I mean? People mm. would watch my fan cams because they knew they're cool, they're gonna laugh, and I might say I something. Did. I used like, to watch him all, I was locked in. Do you know what I mean? Saeed as well. Saeed, if we lost yeah. and Saeed had a meltdown, <laughs> Saeed's going viral. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Ricky's gonna say something out of pocket. Do you know what I mean? Cuss someone that everyone likes. Do you know what I mean? There was something for everyone. Like, there was something for everyone with that lineup. The lineup was unbelievable, bro. Do you know what I mean? And I can't lie, since I've left, I've never seen, I've never watched a single piece of the, the content on there. And to I be love... fair, the only content I watched on there was my own, When yeah. even when I was on there. Do you yeah, know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, I never yeah. watched it. However, I can honestly say that even though I don't watch it now, just knowing the roster that we had then, yeah, it can't be duplicated. 
It can't never be topped. And that's why, you know what? That's why Goldbridge is so mad at you, man, and still mentions you, man, because I, I used the death row analogy. You said the yeah. AC Milan analogy, all yeah. goated squads. Yeah. He is the he's Suge Knight for those that don't know. When Suge with Death Row, when he had Pac and he had Dre and Snoop and everyone over there, you have all this talent under on the one umbrella. You mess it up, and then you see this talent go elsewhere and absolutely go clear. That's what he's so mad about. Think about that. How you? I'll be honest. If if he no, kept no. the gang together to this day, no, imagine what you man could have done. The, the channel would have been on double. And it would have been on double, he would have been making double the money, then, but then he would have had to pay people. Yeah. You and know that, when I say that deluded, when I talk about him being shook, I'm talking about the mindset was the same. Because he had yeah. all that talent under one umbrella and messed it up. And then that talent <laughs> left and went clear. Yeah. Think about it. Man had Rance, Flex, Saeed, Aaron, Nuruddin, Adam Matic. If you let's total up all their numbers. What Bro, look at what we're doing things. independently. Yeah. And imagine yes. if it was all in one place, yeah, it would have Facts. been fake. It would have been, and then even on top of that, what I've thought about this before, look at the mm. amount of people that you lot have found, like after you lot, so the second wave. Of and people. the thing is, even, the, but that's what I'm saying, because even, bro, the reason that. why we bucked up with Saeed and Nuruddin and that is because me yeah. and Flex went to channels. I mean, went to games. Oh. Okay, you know okay. them, man? That's, yeah, that's yeah, how yeah. we met all these men then, bro. So you need to yeah. understand that if not for us doing the fan cams, my first fan cam from what I remember, was the FA Cup final that we lost when Hazard bagged. That was 2018, I believe, in May. Okay, okay, yeah. Chelsea, Man United. It was at Wembley. Big up troops as well. You know what I mean? That was my first fan camp. Yo, you... So, bro, think about it, yeah? Me and Flex travelled home and away, yeah? For all that time, we met so many people and we were responsible for obviously making the relationships with the people and then bringing them onto the channel. Mark didn't do any of that. Mark stayed at home. I think I met Mark three times in person the whole time I was doing any work with the thing. I, I Literally, I, I met him three times in person, I believe. And all of them were for specific reasons. Do you know what I mean? Okay, to, yeah, to, yeah. to film something or to do something. It wasn't... We never had a relationship where I would see this guy in person. I met him three times. So Ooh. it was one of them ones where me and Flex did all the heavy lifting pretty much when it came to like recruiting characters to be on camera and yeah. do head of things. Crate? yeah yeah head of crate. yeah and we made all these relationships and this is the reason why even when we left my relationship still with saeed and all the other men then remained the same bro because these were real relationships blood like yeah. me and flex had to stay in manny overnight sometimes because at the beginning, we were driving back the same day, blood. So we were doing seven and a half hour trips, um, seven and a half hour round trips. And then yeah. it got to the point where the channel was doing so well, yeah. We said to my man, yo, man, you need to pattern a hotel, bro. Facts? Because you might are doing, going viral and doing hundreds yeah, of thousands. Yeah, like you, you need to pattern a hotel, bro. Do you know what I mean? And the thing is, yeah, like at the time, un unbeknown to me, obviously, I'm new to YouTube in a sense that I don't know how much money the, how, the how was making yeah, yeah, yeah but yeah. in hindsight if i'd known how much the, mo the ch money the channel was making at the time yeah. i would have never stayed for as long as i stayed okay you know ones there okay. i would have never stayed for as long as i stayed because everything that was being done like me and me and flex should have had proper hotels patterned all what the time we should we shouldn't have had to been doing the 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 seven hour round trip up and down but at the beginning we had to do it and then as the channel got bigger, then we started to stay overnight. And then when we stayed overnight, we would hang out. I remember one time Nuruddin knows all the bouncers in, in Manchester. Yeah, so. yeah, Nuruddin like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. so yeah. I remember um, Nuruddin patterned a night out with, with me, Flex, um, Saeed, and that had a wicked night, bro. And that's where I met Angel Gomez, his brother, who's now one of my brethren. You okay. know them ones. I met him on a yeah. night out because he came up to me and he was like, bro. And I didn't even know him. Do you know what I mean? And now yeah. he's my brethren, bro. I spoke to him literally like last week. You mm -hmm. know, like that. Mm -hmm. But I met yeah. him on a night out that Nuridin patterned. You know them ones. So, yeah, shout out so, Nuridin every single time. So this is what I'm saying. And he was like, bro, you're always sticking up for my brother and that. And I, bro, I love your thing and this, that, and the other. And, bro, bro. and that's my guy now. Like when he came to London the last time, I linked up with him. We went and got food and that. You know what I'm no, saying? So 
me, Saeed, Nuruddin, Aaron and all this, like, we've got a proper bond, bro. Because yeah. man travelled up and down the country together. We we went out to eat together. We went clubbing together. Like, we've actually got a real friendship. Yeah, Do you know yeah. what I'm saying? It wasn't just a business thing. No. Nuruddin never went to the club. He never went to the club. Nuruddin used to just get us in because he knew everyone. But Nuruddin yeah. don't party like that. Yeah, he's not a party like that. Shout out to Nuruddin, yeah. the OG every single But he time. knows everyone on the doors. Yes. You know, Definitely. like that. And, and, yeah. and that's what it was. Do you know what I mean? So... Like, we got a real relationship. Like, we built, like, such a strong bond. And because we were all friends as well, it comes across on camera. You camera, can tell. Yeah, because you had actually, yeah. yeah. The chemistry, that cheap chemistry. That's you it. When you've chemistry. got real chemistry instead of just people that get put together to yeah. just make content, it's not the same. Talk about it. Talk you know about what I'm saying? It. Not the yeah, same. I fully, I fully hear that. Before we continue, hey, you lot, yeah. are you not entertained? Big up troops in the chat. Big up all the regulars, all the new people. Over 560 people here. But these likes are not liking. We're only at 367. Let's get up to 450 likes, people. Like, check, 1212. Make sure you do that. Hit the subscribe button on the channel as well if you haven't. Roll to 11K here. Subscribe to Rance's channel as well. The link's in the title. Still need you lot sharing this across our socials as well. Hit the follows. Uh, that's me, Flawless, at Sarcasm City TV on Twitter and Instagram. Make sure you follow Rance across our socials. Big up to Hassam in the cut. Make sure you check out his special because we've had him on. Troops has done a special. Lee Gunn has done a special. Matisse, Carefree, Lewis G, all have done specials. And I've got one more, a couple more, one on Sunday and one on Monday as well, people. So we're going we gonna to continue to bring you these specials and give people their flowers. And that's what this is all about. You know what I'm saying? Is, and letting them know their impact is not unnoticed and giving them their flowers while they can still smell them 110%. So obviously, you're like you said, blowing up on United stand. The whole gang gang's doing great. When did it first dawn on you when you was like, all right, we need to be making this channel's blowing up we need to and you kind of touched on this we need to be making money more money from this in regards to what's going on hey bro i'm a businessman in it like mm -hmm. that's the reason why i left you know like that that's the reason why i left because bro you know what it was yeah it was like obviously me and flex got to the point where our show was doing like ninety thousand every week like yeah do you know what i mean ninety thousand views and i was like ninety k like bro this is crazy and at yeah. the time yeah like if I'm lying, I'm dying, yeah? Like, man got a little bit of money, yeah, for the Flex and Ranch show. That was it. And when I say a little bit of money, I mean a little bit, blood. It, was, it wasn't you know? what you thought it should have been. No, bro, when I say a little bit, I mean, man got a bit of money, yeah, to say, all right, cool, I have to give him something because he's doing too well. So man will just give him, it was a token little bit of money. Got you. Yeah. You yeah, know, yeah. like that. Like, I couldn't buy a PlayStation game with the money I got per show. Put it that way. You know them ones there, so use your imagination. But mm -hmm. man weren't getting paid big money. But you know what my thing was, yeah? When I when I linked up with um, Flex, in my head, I was under the illusion that it was Flex and Mark's channel, yeah? Mm -hmm. And that, yo, like, man, them, we could really do a mad thing. But mm -hmm. then, later on, obviously, once I'm, I've already got skin in the game, I realised that Flex ain't got no ownership of the channel. Mark owns owns all of it. He's 100% the owner. Yeah, right. and he just pays Flex, like, a salary kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And even when I first... When me and Flex first started, Flex weren't even on a salary. Flex was still a teacher, mm -hmm. um, and he was doing it part-time. And then he ended up coming on full-time, and then he went on a salary. But at no mm -hmm. point did he have any ownership in it. And... Mm -hmm. I remember saying to Flex, bare times, yeah, bro, man need a percentage. Even if he just gives us 10% each and he keeps 80, yeah. I want a percentage in it because realistically, yeah, like, man needs to be profiting off all of this. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Because I'm not an idiot because I put a lot into this, in, a lot into this channel, whether it's finding venues to film, um, I coached the football team. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? So I was taking training sessions for the football team and I wasn't even getting paid for that. Like, uh, right, I wasn't right. getting paid for that. But, di but this is to let you guys understand the kind of person I am. He covered, like, the expenses for the training, the training pitch and that. But you see me, 
if I'm coaching a team, yeah, I want my team to win, bro. So my team's training, bro. Like I love football, so I'll coach the team in my own time because I enjoy doing it. You know yeah. them one. So yeah. it was one of them ones where I I kept the the footballs at my house, whatever. Mam was washing bibs, doing all these other things. Like this, all my money, bro. Do you know yeah. what I'm saying? So I'm doing all these things in my own time. I'm doing all these other things. And I'm putting so much into it, yeah, and I'm getting very little out of it. And then on top of that, yeah, not only am I not getting the financial side out of it, but then my man thinks that he can be sneak dissing me and disrespecting me as well, like on his shows and stuff like that as well. Was this wait? Was this while she was still on? Well, whilst I was there, bro, because oh, he, he, I didn't know this. Yeah, okay. bro, because he always tries to do that. I'm the big man and tries to little man people. You know them one. And he'd done the same with Flex as well. There were times where I remember one time, I'll never forget this, Flex rang him hmm. while he was live and he must have said something like, oh, what's this guy calling me for kind of thing in a jokey way, like on, yeah. on the stream. And right. I was thinking, bro, do you know how much me and Flex do like off camera, like to make sure this thing's running the way it's running and you're kind of making fun of man like that, like he's some side man. I was like, no, you hmm. need to allow it. Do you know what I mean? So I didn't like that when he done that. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? So um, he would do little things like that. And and I start to see, yeah, this guy's bare ungrateful. Like, do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, even, even where, like, if we have a different opinion to him, he'll kind of make fun of your opinion on one of his shows. And I'll be like, hold on. My thing is, yeah, if we're a channel, we're all meant to be on the same team. So even right. if we've got different... You shouldn't, belittle, you shouldn't belittle I'm anybody. not. Yeah, yeah, I'm still not going to send indirects at you because mm -hmm. we're all on the same team. Mm -hmm. But it's almost like he was trying to compete with Man, yeah, mm -hmm. even though he was on the same team. And I don't rate that. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I'm saying? Because when, I, for instance, when I went and I and I clamped up DT, yeah, yeah, in my head, I was like, yo, that's we're on the same team. That's my guy. I have to back yeah, yeah, yeah. You're going to back it. You're going to back your soldiers in war, so to speak. Yeah, Did bro. And because my thing is like, if we're on the same side, I'm swinging every single time because that's mm. that's how I was raised, isn't it? Yeah. So when I noticed that, like, I was putting way more, and I had a bit way more tribalism. I was putting way more into this thing, yeah. Mm. Then he was, in a sense, yeah, when he had ownership and I didn't. I was like, fuck this, because he just looked at us as the guys that were just going to build the thing for him. Do you know what I mean? Whereas me and Flex felt like we were building the thing up and it was a uh, it was it's in our heads it was all of this in our heads everything. it was a collaboration but in his head he was just using us here to build the channel hmm. do you know what i mean like i've never had these conversations um these conversations before because i've never needed to and hmm. you know what the beauty is yeah if i would have sat down and i would have had these conversations right at the beginning yeah hmm. people would have said oh rance is better this that and the other you man see how well i'm doing so yeah. It's not out of bitterness. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Because I'm doing well, bro. Like yeah, I go viral on a on, on a platform I don't even post on, bro. Regularly. Talk about so I'm doing well. So there's no bitterness. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? There's no bitterness whatsoever. Like the biggest thing for me was I if I had known, yeah, how much that money that channel was making earlier, I would have left sooner. Got you. I was so naive to how much money YouTube makes. Because, because you, was you was unaware of it at that point. Because I would, I wasn't building my YouTube channel, so I wasn't yeah. aware how much money makes. But mm. then I realized how much money the channel was making because I started hanging around Robbie and and the AFTV lot, and then I started yeah. making friends with people. And obviously, Dave, that that was my producer, used to work for AFTV, innit? Yeah. So Dave knows roughly how much these channels are making because he sees the back end all the time. Got you, got you. You know them ones. And I remember I was having a conversation with Dave one time and he just calmly said, oh, the channels has to be making at least blah, 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 blah. And I was like... Wait, what? And I was Say thinking, again? how the fuck is the channel making all that money, yeah? And all I'm getting is, is this... a little... A man's not even getting a pinky for a show, yeah? Mm -hmm. um, And... Man ain't getting paid nothing. A man's just getting expenses paid for the football team. And I was like, right. Like, I ain't got nothing to show for all the work that I've built. And then man yeah. can just disrespect me whenever he feels like it. So mm. when I found out how much money the club was, I mean, the channel was making, immediately I decided in my head, 
that if I don't get start to get treated like an owner, I can't stay here, bro. That's because right. this is crazy. And I remember the day I decided that I was leaving, because I'm this kind of guy. I woke up in yeah, the morning. Tell, and you could just I, be like, yeah, I'm out. I woke up in the morning and I was like, yeah, I'm done. There was no conversation, you know? Yeah. Now, I just woke up in the morning. I said to Flex, yeah, I'm done, bruv. Yeah. Like, you know what? Fuck this. There was no conversation. There was no... I just woke up one morning and said, fuck this. Because that's who I am. And that's why I can't work for anyone. Because I might wake up one morning and decide you're a dickhead. I'm not coming in. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I... Do you know what I mean? And and that's exactly what happened. I just woke up one morning and decided I'm out. Like, mm. that's what it was. So, yeah. Like, it, it was it was literally just one of them things where the man them got disrespected. And the differences between me and Flex. Flex cares about being liked he he cares about his image he cares about marketability mm. like he wants to go on the sky sports he wants to go on the talk sport and all these things mm. me i don't give a shit you know like that so because yeah. of that yeah i'm just i'll say it like flex will never come out and say what he went through yeah but mm. it's one of them ones where it's worse for him in a sense that he stayed longer than I would. I did. He should have left when I left. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? I bet. I bet on myself. He didn't. Hmm. He stayed. Um, and you and two had the conversation about that when you were, did. You have a conversation in regards to that about like, when you're leaving. Did you say I'm leaving? Yo, you should cut as well. No, because you, you just see need me. To know. I okay. don't tell people what to do. Do okay. you know what I'm saying? You man saw the yeah. other day on the football show. I just give people the rope, and yeah. I just let them. You get me? And then if you want me to kick the chair, I'll kick it. Mm. Do you know what I mean? But I don't tell people what to do. I give you the rope and you yeah. make your choice. Do you want to hang yourself? Do you know what I mean? Or do you want to you want to skip? Well, even like, but one thing I do know about you, though, because obviously we dons is giving advice. So that's why I asked about that. I know yeah, you, but I only give advice. If, I only give advice oh. if people ask for it. Uh, you know, the oh, ones yeah. there. I'm not yeah. going to volunteer my advice to you. Do you know what okay. I mean? When I left, yeah. When I left, I said, you know, I'm not going to tell him what to do, but I'm going to watch and see how my man moves. And then depending on how you move, yeah, hmm. when I leave will depend if we have a relationship later on down the line. Hmm. You know, like that. Because that's what I do. I always, yeah, like people show you who they are, yeah, when certain things happen, bro. Do you know what I mean? Right. And, and this, this is how you know. That's how you know I'm a real one. Because when it kicked off with DT, yeah, I showed everyone who I was you straight was away. You was, you, you was on... You was on, on I, bro, you I was on me? smoke immediately, bro. I wasn't yeah. the one smiling. I wasn't pushing. I wasn't shouting. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? I showed everyone, yeah, in that moment, even though I wasn't thinking about it, that, yo, when it comes to backing my thing, I'm backing it. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? And I'm not thinking twice. I'm just doing it because that's me. If we're on the same side, I'm throwing hands, bro. Like, mm. that's what I'm doing because it's in my, it's in in your my makeup to do that. Yeah, like, yeah. do you know what I mean? I protect what's mine. If you're on my side, I'm backing it. Yeah. Do you know what that's I mean? Right. And this is exactly what I'm on. And this is why no one, anyone that chats shit about me is because they don't know me. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Because no one that's been around me can say, Rance did me this or no one can say I scammed them. No one can say I owe them bread. No one can say I treated them a certain way because everyone that comes into contact with me, yeah, the, the results speak for themselves. Yeah, they talk. Yeah, everyone talks, and not just myself, but anyone around you who's actually dealt with, like, dealt with you in a working aspect has nothing but good to say about you, one hundred and ten percent. Well, so what was the madam's reaction like? So when you left, obviously that's a major thing. Like when you, as soon left. as I left, I could feel what was that the what Saeed was, the was thinking about leaving when I left. I could mm. feel it just from the way he was speaking to me. Okay. I could tell that he was like, all right, cool, Rance is gone. I'm thinking to yeah. dip as well. Yeah. You know them ones me. there, I like straight you. away. With Flex, yeah. Flex stayed, yeah, because in the back of his mind, he probably he probably thought he was going to get a piece of that pie. You know, like that. And mm. then yeah. when the piece didn't, when the piece didn't come, mm. he then decided to leave. You know, like that. But really? I told him that he weren't getting a piece of that pie long before. And that's why I left. Ah, uh, so you'd had the conversation with him in regards to that way. It's like, he's not yeah. giving us anything. Uh, yeah, what was that bro. conversation like? What was that like? Bro, I said to him, yeah. Yeah. No, you know what it is, yeah. 
You know what it is, oh. and I remember. Shout out, shout out, Miles as well. Miles um, used to do cameraman for us and Josh, mm. and um, I remember because even them, they weren't happy with the money they were getting either. Mm. And I remember we all went on a night out in Manny. That's how I remember this because I was licked, fam. You know yeah. them ones there, and I don't drink like yes. that. But I remember that was the same night actually, yeah, that we went out to link Saeed because I remember, yeah, we would do. I got so turned up. I left the hotel with no jacket, like an idiot. <laughs> yeah, it's you know cold. them ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's cold out here, Manny, man, Manny in a shirt with no jacket, bro. You know yeah. them ones. I thought I was a proper geezer, and that. I remember. So um, we were chatting in the hotel, and I remember Miles and Josh weren't happy hmm. with how much they are getting paid in terms of like, because obviously it's the expenses and all these other things. And then whatnot. And they weren't really happy about the bread. And then no them problem. man said to me, because I'm always I'm a I'm a big brother in it. Like yeah. I got two younger brothers. So well, three younger brothers. So I I walk with that big brother energy all the time. Yeah. You know them ones. Everyone oh, yeah. knows, yeah. If you want someone to have an uncomfortable conversation, yeah, speak to rants because I'm not I'll chat to anyone, I'll back it. Yeah. Cause I've got little brothers. Yeah. So I've, I'm always ready to fight someone. You know them ones like my brother will tell you the, the man that I punched up at school. Yeah, I remember that story. Yeah, you punched. Yeah, up because like, as yeah, a big you brother, punch. you have to be ready to fight someone. Because when you got little brothers, little brothers get in trouble. Mm. Do you know what I mean? So if you're a big brother, you need to be ready to back it regardless. Mm. So I always walk ready to punch a man up because mm. I've been conditioned that way. Yeah. My dad would always say, "Don't ever let nothing happen to your brothers and your dear, bro." That's crazy. Mm. That can't happen. Yeah, he's right. Yeah, so right. in my head, I'm I'm always ready for the uncomfortable conversations or the confrontational moments because I've been bred that way. My dad's mm. raised me that way as a man, you know, like that. So them two came to me and was like, Rance, like, we're not really happy with there, there, there. Obviously, like, we should be getting more mm. without discussing figures. And I said, 100%, I'm, I'm not fucking with that either. Mm. Said to Flex, yo, you need to chat to your guy, innit? Because I don't mm. have a relationship with Goldbridge. Flex did. You know them ones. Most of the time, anything needed to be done, I told Flex, and then Flex would hit him up, and yeah, it would go yeah. that way. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Me and him never really had direct di dialogue. So um, we were saying to Flex, yo, this needs to be patterned. And Flex was kind of just kind of saying, oh, you lot need to speak to him yourself kind of thing. You know them ones? Mm -hmm. And I didn't like that. Right. Do you know what I'm saying? I didn't like that because I'm like, you're the one that's been here the longest. You got the best relationship with him. With him. You can be the you can be the one, you can be the mediator yeah. in that. Yeah. The guy but he was kind of but his thing is always like, oh, you, you know what Mark's like, though. Like, you mm. know what he's like, kind of thing. Because basically he didn't want to piss Mark off because he didn't want to ruin his bag. Mm. You know them one. That's what it was. That's what mm -hmm. it was. So because mm. of that, from then. I started to get the idea that everyone kind of wasn't really happy with the way that they were getting treated, innit? Right. And it was one of them ones where Flex wasn't happy, but he wasn't saying nothing because he didn't want to upset Mark because he had a feeling Mark would throw him under the bus. And eventually he did anyway. And how you know long this conversation you had had, so with the cameraman, with Flex, etc. how long before, how, how long after did you then leave after having this conversation we're talking about? I'm not really sure. Do you not know sure. what I'm saying? But, I, I, but I'm not really sure how long ago it was. But um, the conversation about how people had been treated is a conversation that was ongoing. It wasn't a one off conversation. Oh, so this is more of a regular. Yeah, affair. like at the it beginning, was it was fine, bro. At the beginning, when the channel was small, do you know yeah. what I mean? It was fine. But, bro, we were the yeah. fastest growing channel on YouTube, bro, at one point, mm. bro. Like we went from under one hundred, under a hundred thousand to six hundred thousand in what felt like a year. Like it felt yeah, like it was like was a year. Crazy. I remember that. I remember the, the the growth of that channel. Watching, I was like, yeah, it's yeah. Been it's so because of that year, it felt like what was acceptable a year ago. Now that can't run. Yeah, that's you know fair. what I mean? Because that's when fair. we're doing, because the thing is, everyone's impression was that me, Mark, and Flex all had a stake in the channel. Because yeah. when we done the live show to celebrate the 550k, it was, you three. It was us free, and then Drawy was behind the scenes doing all the artwork. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? So everyone thought it was us free's channel. So when people actually realized that Mark owned all the channel, yeah, and me and Flex 
didn't have no ownership here. Mm. That was late on. That was after I'd left. But while I was there, a lot of people assumed it was my channel, bro. Yeah, like, people, people assumed. I assumed that you man had a and yeah, I assumed that you lot had some form of percentage as a as a fan watching. As a yeah. fan watching. Yeah, a lot of people thought it was my channel. And when I explained to them the thing, they were like, Rance, rah, like, why did you stay so long? And the crazy thing, yeah, draw he's left as well. No one's there. Mm. Um, but you know what? Um, you know what's crazy, yeah? It's like the only reason why I stayed as long as I stayed is one, because once I, I'm the kind of person, once I lock into something, I'm locked in. As soon as I decided to do that Flex and Rant show, I was like, we are going to surpass oh, full-time yeah. devils. I was driven by that mm. because in my head, I saw the channel doing something and I needed to be, I needed to prove myself right. Yeah. I need to prove myself right that the vision I had for what it could do and where it could be I needed to prove myself right because I saw it. And then when I saw it, I was like, bro, and bruv, and I messaged Flex and I said, and I sent him the screenshot of the first message I ever sent him. Mm. And I told him, I said, we're good, we're gonna do this, bro. And mm. we will look back at the message. And he was like, bro, how did you know? I said, bro, I told man, innit? it? This is where it's, I've been telling, man. Mm. This, this is what I do, bro. Do you know what I'm saying? So it's just one of them things where. Bro, I'll be real. Like, none of that surprised me. But as soon as I found out how much money the channel made, that's when you, my, my, my days were numbered there. That, that was when that was when I woke up in kill mode. That was when in my head I was like, nah, man's taking the piss. Mm. You know, like that. Man's taking yeah. the piss. When I found that out, that's when my head was on Pluto. And this is why I couldn't be there no more. Because I neglected my channel for years. To um, do that. Yeah. doing stuff people don't realize how much behind the scenes goes on remember i was taking football training mm. i was coaching the games football training was on a wednesday then i was coaching the games Mum was washing kits Mum was doing all these other things and then Mum was even trying to get brand deals because back in the them times we were trying to get brand deals so yeah. i was trying to get brand deals i was using my network of people to try and do these things me and flex were trying to get guests mm. we were doing all of those other things do you know what I'm saying? No, I fully hear that. I fully hear that. Oh, yeah. Crazy. That is, this is crazy. Before we continue, again, hey, anyone talking rubbish will be blocked, just to clarify that, first and foremost. Secondly, I do not entertain people. Let run, me run up the likes. In this little yeah, break, no stress. Do your thing, fam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Run up the likes, people. Run up the likes. We are at 421 likes. There's just under 600 people in there. Like check, one, two, one, two. Let's go up. To 600 likes hit the subscribe button as well roll to 11k here on sarcasm city tv what we are i'm just refreshing the screen make sure you subscribe to rance's channel as well people the links in the title ransom bands yeah we're at 10,460 40 more man i want to get to 10,500 there's over 580 people here i'm asking for 40 subscribers as well are you not entertaining we even finished the backstory where else you getting it in regards to these sarcasm city tv specials let me get to some of the super chats as well i see you lot with the great comments much appreciated big up to moss uh alazim who says rants is one of the best youtubers i enjoy watching you i do not agree with everything sometimes you say but i respect your opinion real talk rants you look like Kawhi leonard big up to you most for the kind words i don't think rants looks like Kawhi leonard but salute to you and you do have to select uh respect his opinion big up to nero the young g says large up my guys rant a real one give me some real good advice his content is a part of my daily routine to my point even my family know him hey this is facts big up to rums in the cut as well shout out rums who says big up flawless and rants this is mad inspiring big up to you every single time and nero he's showing you love as well rant shout out to the young g nero that's my guy hey, big up time. nero as well that's my yeah, g nero, yeah. nero real one big up to comedy star tv says big up flawless and rants flawless except on ps5 i'm on p4 fam like except like what are you looking to just I told you, send me a message on there. Uh, big up to Lee Slims for the for the super chat. Says big up the NW10 fam. Comedy star says, yeah, flawless. Don't make me call you while I'd accept the thing and rants. Keep doing your thing. And when um, and big up to you anyway. And he says people hit the like. But yeah, like I said, send me a message on there. I don't know it's you. You gotta send me a message in there because I forget. Hundred yeah. percent, I forget. Send me a message on the PS and then I remember. Say it's comedy star. And yeah. big up to my guy Eli. He's been a member of the channel for four months as big up rants for all the authenticity i remember one day you spoke on your stint in comedy when was this and does this tie into your journey 
I let you just answer that question. Yeah, bro. Um, I done I done a live show in 2017, which I sold out. It was around Christmas time. It's like 300, 300 people or something. It was in Shoreditch. Um, that was around when I was still doing my political stuff. I done um, I done a live show. Let me Google it, bro, because I, I yeah, can't remember Google the details. Fun. Hold on, want some burnts live. Yeah, Google that. Fun. When, That's when, fun. when, when was this? When was it? When was it? When was it? It was in, it was in 2018, though. Um, it was in 20, no, 2017. Sorry, um, in Shoreditch. Um, and yeah, I done a, a live set. Smashed it. Absolutely smashed it, bro. But that was another thing. I smashed it and then I never done another one. I got booked for loads of... um. I got booked for Reading and Leeds Festival and all that off the back of that show. But I just... I, I turned down so much money that summer, bro. I can't even how lie to you. How come you turned it down? What was the reason about Because um, my comedy is... Um, I, I, I'm just a witty guy, bro. My comedy's in the moment. I don't like repeating jokes. Do you know what I mean? And that's just what, and that's it. Like, I get bored. Like, I'm very reactive. Like, my wit and my timing is what? That's my superpower when it comes to comedy. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I'm not really, I'm not someone that tells jokes. Do you know what I mean? There's a difference between someone that's funny and someone that tells jokes. Mm. Like, there's a lot of people that can tell jokes that aren't funny. Like, for me, like, Kevin Hart's not funny to me. Yeah, you but, said he tell, well, but he man. tells jokes, isn't it? And, you've said and then there's same certain same. people that are just flipping hilarious, bro. Like, like yeah. Cat Williams is funny, bro. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? But I don't think when Cat Williams is telling jokes, I don't find him funny. I find him more funny when he's being serious. If that he's makes just talking sense. about, yeah, he's just talking yeah. about just regular, regular stuff rather than the yeah. actual. Set that that's what I'm. With. That's what I'm saying. So yeah. it's one of them ones where there's some people that are funny and some people tell jokes, and I'm not a joke teller. Mm. So even though I killed the set. Like, if anyone knows, doing a 45-minute stand-up set is, it takes months of preparation to do that. And I absolutely murked it. Sold out my show, £20 a ticket. Bro, I made bank that, that night, bro. I remember. I, when I saw the money, I was thinking, yo, I could do this again. But then I thought that, yo, I don't want to perform this same set and again and again and again and again because I'll get bored, in it. And I'm not writing mm -hmm. another one. It took me three months to write that shit. <laughs> do you know what I mean? It took me three months to write a 45-minute set perfect it memorize it and also with visuals as well i had like slides behind me as well so when i was telling the jokes i had the visuals lined up like bro it took a lot of time yeah so yeah because of that um it was one of them things where i did it once i smashed it and then i ticked that off my list of things to do and i'll, I'll never do another one like that do you know what i'm saying because it, it was just it was something that i knew i could do and then I proved to myself I could do it, and then that's enough for me. I'll keep it moving. Well, that's fair. That's fair. So we're at the point now. So you've left the United Stand. Mm. You said you you mentioned Saeed in regards to him potentially leaving it looking like the obvious. Did you expect the massive exits you seen after you had left because you knew what was going on? It wasn't absolutely, a bro. Absolutely, but bro, like the thing is, yeah, I'm the kind of person, yeah, like. I get a lot of my satisfaction from helping other people, innit? Mm. Like, and for me, that as a man, you're supposed to anyway. Yeah. Like, as a man, you're supposed to, you're supposed to gain a lot of your happiness from providing for others, bro. Like, that's what, just... that's what being a man is, bro. Do you know what I'm saying? Providing for your family, providing for your kids, mm. patting in the mandem. You know them ones. When when you got your shit together and you can pat in the mandem and say, yo, mandem, we're going on holiday. You know what I'm saying? That's the reason why the QBs buy the Rolexes for everyone. You know, like that. It's like, yo, cool. That's what it is. So for me, because I knew, yeah, how much I put into it and how many real good relationships I built in that time, when I left, I knew it was only a matter of time before everyone else left because mm. I know my influence. Mm -hmm. I know my influence. Do you mm. know what I'm saying? So it's just one of them ones. Because... I had such a big influence over there with the relationships I built. I knew once they saw I had left and it, it wasn't going to be long before they left. And then not only did I leave, but I'm leaving and I'm thriving as well. Yeah, because your own channel, because you was making content while she was, because I used to watch that as well when you used to answer questions from 12. 
I used to watch that the show on your channel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See what I'm saying? So that's what I mean. So then so then I'm leaving and I'm thriving as well. So then they're like, yo, then Saeed. And I always said to Saeed, I've said it to Cams, I've said it to everyone Mm. that I've worked with, DGs in the chat, have your own shit, bro. Because even Mm. when I was on the United Stand, even though I wasn't uploading and I wasn't treating my YouTube channel the way um I should have, I always had my own thing. So I wasn't starting from zero. Yeah, I wasn't starting good. from zero, bro. Do you know what I'm saying? And I always said to Mandem, have your own thing. Hmm. Okay. So that's fair. So then you've left that. You're very driven, very tunnel vision. So then you're yeah. like, you've got all this much more time because you're no longer over there. So then mm. was it put everything into my own channel, carry on, et cetera, et cetera. It was. Yeah, that's pretty much it. It was that, bro. It was. Mm. And then it's, it's just, I said to myself, yo, Look what you did over there, yeah? If you put the same energy into your own thing, you'll, you'll go clear, fam. Do you know what I'm saying? And that's what I did, didn't it? And that's what it is. So you was like, so was the mindset in regards to, was there any ideas in regards to more shows to add on there? Because you had the show you was doing whilst you was on the United and you was like, okay, let me put this, put all of this effort, energy into my own channel and I'm going to thrive and, and go clear. Yeah, pretty much. Bro, you know what it was, yeah? It was just having the creative freedom to do what I want. Talk about not just Man United, because I'm a football man. I want to talk about everything. Like, even the, the the show you're referring to, that was that was the original footy talk. Yeah, I remember that show. Original yeah. footy talk was me talking, and I would literally put the hashtag on Twitter, and people would ask me questions. Questions, I remember that. I do remember that. You know show. what I mean? And I would answer them. Do you know what I mean? So that was the original footy talk. And these times I was recording on a phone in, in mm. my room, sitting mm. on the sofa. Yeah, Do you know yeah. what I mean? That's what I'm trying to say. So like, bro, like man's been outside for a minute, bro. Like man's been doing things. So man was doing the footy talk that way. And then footy talk turned into what we know it today. Me and Amanda, me and Deluded. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like me and uh, Monts. Yeah. Um, like flipping out. And that's what it is now, bro. Me and Northside now. Do you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like that's the that's the new footy talk. But the old footy talk used to just be me answering questions from Twitter. From the Twitter. Yeah, from the Twitter. Yeah, 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 yeah. I get you. Now that's fire. That is fire. So then obviously you're still ascending from the journey from the United Stand. Did I'm not gonna ask you if you had any doubts. Was you surprised by the amount of people who came over with you? From the United Stand in regards to the following, did that was that not a shock? There was no no, doubts. no, because yeah. I know how instrumental I was in the initial not growth right. of the channel. Talk about I know it. that, bro. Like, bro, I literally went, yeah, to Flex and said to Flex, yeah, yo, mm. we're going to have the biggest Man United channel in the country when we didn't have 100k. Yeah. Like, bro, I believed that. And then because I know how hard I worked, yeah, and how instrumental me and Flex were to getting Saeed on, all these other people, mm. to giving Mark ideas to do things. Because, come on, bro. Like, man, man's a swagless don, bro. Like, do you know what I'm saying? Like, most of the stuff that man were doing on the channel, that they, those were our ideas. They were not his ideas, bro. He's a dry yeah. youth, bruv. Do you know what I'm saying? It's like, it's, it's not like man, man's got no source. So anything that looks remotely, remotely entertaining wasn't his idea, mm. bro. It wasn't. Do you yeah. know what I'm saying? It just is what it is, bruv. So, and the thing is, I ain't got no respect for the guy. So I don't even need to say it nicely. So, so it's just one of them ones, bro. He's any guy, bruv. Like, this is just what it is. So it's literally, that's why I call man the Midlands Mr. Bean. He's Mr. Bean, bro. He's a character. He's not a real person, bro. Now, man goes online and does dumb things and fake goal celebrations and all these other things. It's a character. It's not a real person. Do you know yeah. what I'm saying? But the thing is, because man's bu- built such a big following, yeah, it's like man's, it's like man's a caricature of like, a himself. person it's not even a real person mm. do you know what i'm saying so because of that saying. it's like bro this is another thing in life this is what i tell you you don't always get what you deserve in life and this is why like i said about the football analogy the best players don't always make it yeah that's true do you know what i'm saying yeah. because like bro i know yeah it's one of them ones people come and they do all the fake the fake humble thing and all that, bro. Everything I get, I know I deserved it, bro. Talk about it. Everything I know, I just, because, bro, I know in terms of talent, I'm in my own lane, bro. Like, man's yeah. not going to sit here and pretend that I don't know, yeah, how how good my content is. Mm. 
a lot of work has gone into a lot of ex life experience and all these things has gone into forming me into the person I am today. I wasn't always this person. Yeah. This this person was built from setbacks in football. Do you know what I'm saying? Setbacks in life, mistakes made, lessons learned. For me to be the person that can sit down and make these funny, the funny bits of content for you lot about girl and that, bro, because man's live life, bro. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I've been that guy, yeah, where man's been chatting to a girl, bro, and she's anything. I'm just chatting to her, and I'm and I'm thinking, bruv, this thing here is actually wasting my time, bro. Like, the audacity of you, bruv. Do you know what I mean? No, because every man's been there. Where you're chatting to a girl that you know is beneath you, yeah, and she's still talking to you like you are no one. And I'm thinking, bro, like, where do you get the audacity to waste my time? You know, like that. Like every man's been there, but you have to, <sighs> you have to experience these things as a man, bro. Do you know what I'm saying? You have to experience them, and then you have to learn from them. Yeah, you so, do have to learn from things. So all the stuff that I've experienced in life, and all the knowledge that I've amassed from all the books I read, bro. Literally, man's got a stack of books right here, bruv. Mm. Right here on my desk. Like man's always reading and and all these things, bro. Like just in life. I'm just smarter than these guys, bro. So, and I've got self-awareness. I've got real awareness, bro. Like, I understand what's going on. None of this is an accident. Okay. None of this is an accident. So, I can honestly sit here, yeah, and I know that I'm more talented than man. I know I am. I know I'm funnier than man. I know I'm more talented than man. I know that I'm better than man at absolutely everything. Mm -hmm. But man still had the success he's had because success is not linear, bro. And also, just because you're better than someone at something, that doesn't mean that you're going to do better um, yeah, in the short term. Bro, everyone has their own journey. Yeah. You know, like that. And this is just what it is. But all the stuff I've been through in life, all the experiences, the experiences of being an older brother, all these other things, that makes me into the man I am. Mm. You know, like that. So it, it's just it's just one of them things, bro. No, that's fair. That's fair enough. So obviously, like I said, you've you've then you've left, you know what I'm saying? The United Stand, your own channel, numbers are going up, flying yeah. through the roof. At this point, what year was this around when you left and you're still carrying on making the United content? I don't know. That would have been yeah. like 2020. It was lockdown. It was the first lockdown. Yeah. And you're somebody like you've already mentioned who doesn't go into doesn't go into it's not a new adventure but like go into a mm. new venture without mm. having a clear idea and a clear plan of what you want to do so as you've left what was your actual plan was you just like right, i'm going to be one of the biggest con well you already are one of the biggest content creators was there a certain number was a certain a certain goal or certain goals no. you were trying to get to no 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 my thing was yeah i'm just going to keep doing what i've been doing mm. you know like that and that's what i did yeah. Like, that was it. There was no number in mind, bro. There was, yo, I need to go on my YouTube channel and make this YouTube thing a full-time job because I'm good enough. Do you know what I'm saying? Because at the time, like, I was still in the gym, but I can't lie, the mainstream money, yeah, because it was coming in quite frequently, it just kept yeah. topping me up. So I wasn't even in the gym as much as I used to be. I was probably in there part-time now. Yeah. And I was like, yo, I need to be at a point where I don't even need to rely on the ma any mainstream money coming in. Mm. I can just be full-time on YouTube. Yeah. And then even the gym. I actually quit the gym because I was making enough money. And then I went back to the gym because I was getting bored. Um, uh, I was bored because at the time, my brother wasn't full-time. Do you know what I'm saying? So I was I was like, yo, I, when you're full time, yeah, as a content creator, I know your friends are at work. It's boring, isn't it? Do you know what I'm saying? I get that. Yeah. So no I was no to chill with chat too. No, and everyone's busy doing their own. Everyone's but, busy but, working. Exactly. And I was living in a flat share at the time, so I would just be in the yard by myself all day. And because of my personality, I'm happy to just be in the yard by myself. But mm. remember, I've grown up in the house. Where my house when, when I'm at my mum's, I'm like I'm I'm one of five blood. So man's yeah. used to being in a loud house, all of that, and then all of a sudden I'm in the house by myself every day. 
And I'm like, nah, I need to go back to work, fam. You know, like, <laughs> so I ended up, I ended up here, yeah, like, quitting the gym and then going back. That like my brethren opened opened a brand new pure gym in um in Sheen, E Sheen, yeah. And I helped him open the new gym, yeah, and then started working there because I just wanted to get out of the house. I didn't even need the money. Yeah. I just couldn't be in the house. Um, I just couldn't be in the house all day, bro, like by myself. And even yeah. that, bro, like I was out on the road before the gym open we were leafleting and all of that bro i was just happy to be out the house bro i was posting leaflets mm. yeah posting leaflets to let the people in the area know that the gym's gonna open and all these things and then like sorting out the gym like mm. but i just just didn't want to be in the house i was in the house by myself all day um my brother was still at work um was still working um at the time and doing youtube part-time and i didn't yeah, bro. And I was used to just being with my brother and that. So I was like, yeah, bro, man's going to go back to work. And okay. also being a PT is a very social job. Like you're talking to your clients and then you're in the gym, you're talking to gym members. Like you're just socializing for the whole day. Like, yeah. Do you know what I mean? So the change from being in a social workspace to being in the house by yourself with a camera, bro, it's a big cultural shock in it. Hmm. And yeah. yeah, I wasn't ready for that. Um, I wasn't ready for that at the time. So then I ended up going back to work briefly. And then once, once COVID came, I was like, yeah, I'm not going back. I'm not going back again. Uh, you know, like that. Cause I was so, like, cause remember they closed the gyms cause of the germs and all these yeah, things. Yeah. And then after, and then once they started reopening gyms, I was like, yeah, I'm not going back. You was like, you're cool with that. So then at that point, you're full time content creating full time on YouTube, recording, doing your uploads, mm -hmm. your video, covid hits what was it then like in regards to COVID? did you see a switch like in terms of your numbers going up during covid because more people are at home chilling yes but also Go on. i was doing more content you uh, know them ones like me yeah. and my brother um me and my brother moved we moved back near mums um mm -hmm. near covid and we paid for her to go Love that. To go to the Caribbean, in it because it Love was because she couldn't work because it was COVID. So yeah, me and my brother paid for her um to go back to the Caribbean while it was locked down, and we just said just come back when the country opens up. So we just had the yard to ourselves, and I was just in the house, just yeah. streaming all the time, mm. you know, like that. And then I noticed the more I worked, my followers were just flying, bro. Like, mm. do you know what I mean? I just noticed that yo, the more hours i'm putting in you look remember when i was doing i was doing gta missions with my with my followers like i was on twitch these times see we even skipped that now because oh we go get we go get to that yeah yeah we go yeah. get to where the twitch deal so, happened yeah, yeah, yeah. We so i was doing that. gta heist mm. i was doing everything bro like man mm. was doing everything i was playing video games i was doing watch alongs i was doing so many different things and my following just it's like every day I woke up and it was just going doof, 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 doof. and I was like, bro, this is what I all missed out on yeah, when I was flipping, pushing the piano for that bumber hole yeah, when I could have been working on my own thing. Yeah, you know I mean, but it's a learning curve, isn't it? Yes, like you, know you said, it's a, it's, it's, it's a learning. You learn from from things and learn from circum like experiences and dealing with people, especially in a working environment as well. So that point, COVID hits, like you said, you're in the house, you're making content. Was the Twitch deal before that or after that? Because I feel you was, you said, yeah, when did you transition from the pre-records to the live streaming? When did that, and how come you decided to do that as well? Um, the live streaming thing was because the lockdown, we couldn't go to studios. Uh, so then that's where it stemmed from. The like, okay, okay. That bro, lockdown changed my whole, my whole career, bro. Mm. Like, I can't lie. A lot of people struggled struggled in lockdown. Lockdown, bro, I doubled my income in lockdown. Talk, talk that ish. Doubled talk it, that, bro. Talk that shit. Like, bro, like, man don't understand. Like, lockdown for me was the best thing that could have ever happened to me because mm. it opened doors for me. And now you man know I don't leave my house no more, bro. Lockdown, lockdown, I learned so much about myself as a person during lockdown bro lockdown gave me superpowers 
because naturally I'm I'm a lone wolf anyway. Like that's yeah. how I am. Do you know what I'm saying? So you can't fuck around and tell me that I don't need to leave my house. It's okay not to leave my house and I can make money in my house. Yeah. And I bought gym equipment and I could train in my house. I was like, what? So what? Man could just be in the house and just hustle and just grind. Yeah. And make Correct. money. Mm -hmm. Oh my days. Bro, listen, these man will tell you, bro, man was streaming like seven, eight hours a day on Twitch, bro. Hours. Cuz it was mad. Yeah. Nah, bro. Lockdown was unbelievable for me, bro. Like, because mm. that was when live streaming came to life, bro. Yeah, that's that was when, when it really came, came to came. life. And that's I remember I remember Twitch just before that, man, we're doing the Zoom. You know what I'm saying? Because I remember yeah. working with Aaron and they was more the Zoom. And then I remember yeah. the studio thing coming around. Yeah. But yeah, Twitch, let's get to that. Let's not skip over that. How and yo, that just to be clear, guys, when I say I don't leave my house here, yeah, bro, in lockdown, I bought a road bike and I used to go out and I used to cycle around London, bro. I did used to go out to exercise and to buy food. But in general, I don't you go out and socialize. Okay. I don't yeah, go I out and socialize. You know what the crazy part is? I'm the exact same now. That's why yeah. lockdown worked for me. I'm That's a me, I'm bro. Like, you know, I'm like, bro, chill. the only time I leave the house now, normally, on a normal day, I leave the house to go to the gym mm. and to go to the supermarket. That is it, bro. Like, I'm very, very, very happy here. Do you know what I mean? I'm in a nice apartment. Mm -hmm. I enjoy my... I like where I am. And I'm at peace, like, in my own house, bro. Yeah, I've even got a walking pad, so if I don't get enough steps for the day, I, I get on there. And when I'm watching TV, I'm on the treadmill. Mm. And I sit down, I read my books and I chill. Do you know what I mean? If I want to smoke a cigar, I'm going to smoke a cigar on the balcony and chill. Bro, listen, life is so life simple, is blood. You don't need a lot in life, bro. I'm, no. that This is me, bro. Like, I'm going to be the same guy, bro. I could be a multi-millionaire. You're still going to see me in my basketball jersey, my shorts, and my Crocs, bro. Life ain't changing for me, bro. Like, yeah. it's not changing for me. And that's it. Like, I'm the same. That's why lockdown worked for me. Like a lot of people struggled with it. I was fine. I'll leave my yard like that. I'm not doing an event or something like that. I don't leave. Like obviously, man, don't leave to get food. I play ball occasionally. Like I'm playing tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? God rest my body. So yeah, but like mm -hmm. other than that, like I'm not fussed. Like you said, someone said in the chat, own company, best company. Like I'm cool. You See, look, man said just joined. I remember you streaming from Dubai. Exactly. During lockdown, the first I'm lockdown, I went to Dubai for a month. Because mm. Dubai was still open and they locked down London. So I said, yo, I got a cheap flight to Dubai, like free bills. Yeah. I was like, what? Free bills to Dubai? Say less, bro. Man went to Dubai. I was, I was still working, though. Do you know what I'm saying? And yeah, I woke yeah. up every morning. I walked down the marina, um, mm. sat in the sun, read my book, had a coffee. Mm. Do you know what I mean? And that's how I started every single day. Wake, walking down the marina, looking at um, the boats and that. Sat down there with my book. And I got through so many books. I read some good books when I was over there. Like I read Phil Knight's book as well, the the, the owner of Nike. Okay. And and that was another book, bro. Like he's a hustler as well, bro. Like man's always reading, bro. So mm. I remember specifically that book I read um there because I bought it there. Mm. Do you know what I mean? So yeah, I went to Dubai at the start of lockdown. Well, yeah, man, you got a hustle, so. Obviously, so did, did the Twitch stream and, well, going over to Twitch and that deal, did that happen just before you started live streaming? And how did that come about? And what was that mm -hmm. like? Because you made the decision to, like, I remember it vividly. You was like, I'm going over to Twitch permanently. I'm leaving YouTube, et cetera, et cetera. I'm guessing it was an easy decision because of what Twitch, Twitch was offering. But what was that? Bro, it experience? isn't, bro. <laughs> yeah, bro, I, I, was, I was live streaming before that. Mm. But you know what it was? Twitch, the brother shout out Josh as well at, at Twitch. Yeah, mm. he had obviously seen my stuff, and he knows how influential I am. And he was like, "Bro," he just basically said, "The conversation was this. The conversation was, cool. we we love your stuff, love what you're doing. Mm. Like, how much, how much money here yeah, would it would it take here?" Yeah? For you to come over to Twitch um, from YouTube, in it, because basically they wanted me to cover the Euros, in it. 
Okay, okay. The Euros was coming, and and but they said, but all all the content has to be exclusive to Twitch. Hmm. And so I was like, hmm. X. So, User yeah. XML. So yeah. so I said basically, yeah. You know what? I said, you know what? I'll do a tester in it. So you just cover my my YouTube money in it. So mm -hmm. I'm not gonna upload in YouTube for a month. Just pay me just over that because obviously with YouTube, there's a cutoff date and then a payout. So I was yeah. like, cool, I've got a month's money coming from YouTube. And then obviously, because it's like 15 days, I've got another two weeks coming after that. Mm -hmm. So even if I don't upload for a whole month, I've still got another two weeks money coming and then I'll get another month here. So I'm up, up again, you know, like that. Mm -hmm. So I said to them, all right, cool. Give me X amount, which was a bit more than what, what I get on YouTube. And then, bro, listen, fam, when I tell you, talk about it. one week into the thing, they were like, yo, they were like, yo, your numbers, yeah, are stupid. And they hmm. were like, yo, like, we want you to stay here for a year. Got you. And I was just like, <laughs> <laughs> bro, I just laughed, did it? Because yeah. in my head, yeah, I was like, the only reason why I took the deal is because I knew I was gonna smash it. <laughs> because, because you know what I mean? Because I didn't take the yeah. deal for the money. Because I had yeah. the money anyway. Yeah, the money was you coming in from YouTube, regardless. Yeah, 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 I had the money anyway. And the thing is, yeah, like when you go into a new platform, you're starting from zero, bro. Pretty much. Do you know what I mean? So <laughs> it's like. I didn't need to do that for the money. It would have made absolutely no sense. It would have been more comfortable mm. for me to just stay on the same platform, yeah? And um, and just continue doing what I was doing because if it's not broke, do you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And that's what it was. But I said, yeah, you I'm know saying. what? This is a new challenge. And also, in my head, I'm like, I'm going to show them just how valuable I am. Yeah. You know, like that. So I went there, yeah. I smoked it over there. They said that I was in the top three uh, on the platform um, in, in terms of like genre and like concurrent. And to put things into perspective, yeah, it was only True Jordy had the kickoff on there. Yeah. And Fabrizio Romano. Those were the only two people on that platform, yeah. That were anywhere near me, like numbers. Hey, that numbers, top that numbers. Top, yeah, top they, they, numbers, they were the only the man. Numbers. Yeah, they, those were the only man that were anywhere near me, bro. Like my numbers were brazy. Like in terms of concurrent views, um, average watch time, all these things. They said my numbers were crazy. That's why it was a one year deal. And then I'm a businessman, so I said to them, yeah, I'll sign a one year deal, but I need a clause in the contract that after six months I can renegotiate. Smart, you know what I mean? Because Smart. again, and and you know, you know how I learned that because mm. when I went to Vice, Vice um brought me in, they offered me a um a good deal, yeah. I just took that shit, you know, the ones there, and then bro, yeah, yeah, yeah. and then I fucking smashed it, and I was like, bro, I should have asked for way more. We bought, yeah, you know yeah, what what I mean? they said that's what like, bro, yeah, yeah. And, and and this is what it is, so you know what. So so basically what I did was yeah this is how the this is what happened with um vice they basically said yeah um yo we're going to pay you x amount per ser per episode cuz i had four four episodes yeah. which i wrote myself mm. everything like i just had a camera crew follow me around i i done all my own writing yeah done everything like so i produced the whole, pretty much the whole fucking thing blood i just didn't mm. direct it so i smoked it bro we done 25 million views yeah worldwide over four episodes Jesus. but me oh, i took numbers. money but i took money per fucking episode instead of negotiating per 500 views or something uh, you know like that yeah, so yeah, yeah, you. even you though learned. i done 5 million on an episode i just got paid mm. the same amount of money and i learned from that because mm. you know what was mad yeah with the vice thing like alex said to me yeah he goes we've never done anything like this and because vice is american yeah they didn't think that i would 
I would do as well as I did because it's not got an English audience. So when I'm talking yeah. about English politics, yeah, they didn't expect the numbers to do what they did because it's an American platform. Yeah. But somehow it fucking resonated with mm. people. Do you know what I'm saying? So when I done all those views, yeah, they were like, they were shocked. Mm. I wasn't shocked yeah, because wasn't. I didn't know all this information about it being an American platform. I just said, you know what? My material's fucking good, innit? So mm. you get me? So when I, no number that, there's no number that I can do that's going to surprise me. Yeah. So I wasn't surprised by the numbers, but then I looked back at how much I got paid and I said, you know what? You played yourself. You, you, you sold know, like, yourself short. Yeah. In, in the mm. Yeah. I was like, you know what, bruv? I should have negotiated something incrementally. So every 100,000 views or every 500,000 views, I get an extra so and so, like royalties in it. But I didn't. But again, I'm new in the game, bro. I, I'd only been doing yeah, you don't this know. Yeah, it's new. Yeah, yeah. I'd only be doing the social media thing for like three months when they 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 came up to me, and I'm still working out what I'm worth. Yes, you know what I'm saying. So you don't at know the your worth. You don't know your full worth at that point. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So at the beginning of everything, you do it for free anyway. Like I always say, like before you become a professional footballer, you play football for free. True. Do you know True. what I mean? And the thing is, yeah, like, it's the same with learning your craft here. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, it's not a bad deal, bro, because I'm still in my, I'm in my learning phase. You know, Absolutely. like that. Because if, in football years, like, if it was, if it was like my second year playing, what, my first year playing football, I don't, I don't expect to make money from it. Yeah, facts. I get exactly Do you know what I'm saying? saying. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? You don't expect to make money in football. Like, when, when I was making my little Brilliant. £75 a week, like in the academy and that, but you're what a teenager then 13, mm. like that's what I mean. So it's like there was a good 10 years that I kicked a ball that I didn't get paid before that. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So any bit of money in the first year, I can't look at it like I got bumped. Yes. Do you know what I'm saying? I can't look at it like I got bumped because I was I was still developing. So mm -hmm. I just looked at it as you know what I've learned from this. I'm not getting I'm I'm not doing this to myself again. I didn't look at it as like they underpaid me because I was happy with the money when I took it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But then when I done the mad thing, do you know what I mean? I didn't realise that Americans fucked with their politics like that. Yeah. But then, do you get me? That makes sense mm -hmm. now because when I see what's happened with the Trump things and all these other things, but they, they fuck with their politics. They do. Do you they know do what I'm saying? Time. So, yeah. it was one of them ones. I done mad numbers there and then I learned a lot how to negotiate from that and then so on and so forth bro and then it comes to the twitch thing I, I told them put a clause in my contract here so i can renegotiate um, halfway through because i knew i was gonna smash it bro you knew what was gonna happen you had seen the story bro, before. i knew exactly but i had to i had to feel that pain from vice do you know what you i mean learned. you took the lesson I, man you took I the lesson that. but then the on lesson. the flip side i remember during lockdown vice hit me up to do some more work Mm. And I was just like, respectfully, you man can't afford me, bro. Not after what I done for you lot last time. You know them one. <laughs> do, do you know what I mean? I get so exactly that's what, what you're is. saying. Probably you're like, yeah, they're not. Did they even try? And, did they even try and offer you and have a conversation? I, yeah, there was nothing to talk about. I told yeah, them. I, was like, I, I said, you listen, I love you me. lot. Do you know what I'm saying? But you can't afford me. You can't afford what I'm bringing. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. they hit me up to do in the first lockdown to do like a reaction to being locked in the house and yeah, the lockdown, yeah. and that would have been sick. Do you know Absolutely. what I'm saying? Because I'm talking about the Bandulu virus and all these things. I would have had fun with it. But these times I had my green screen. You know what I mean? At home, I painted the mm. wall in. I had my own office in the house, everything. So I, I could have done a wavy production, everything like that. And they could have yeah. come and filmed in my house and everything. But I was like, bro, you man can't afford me like that. Because I know what I done for you last time. This would have definitely gone crazy. Yeah. And the kind of money you would have to pay me. You're like, not going to no. pay me. First? I was That's... like, it's not in your budget. Like, I know what your budget is. It's not in it. You know what I mean? Like, I know what your budget is because they have different budgets for different things. Like, they have mm. more TV budget and then they've got, like, social media budget. It's not yeah. the same budget. Okay. And I was like, yeah, you, man, can't afford me. So respectfully, do you know what I'm saying? Man, just, you don't go back to your ex, man. I have to keep that memory nice. Now, I mean, we've done some good stuff together and that. We, we, we made memories and we just need to keep it at that. And just keep it stepping. All right, that's fair. So obviously then you're do, doing crazy numbers on Twitch. Like you said, you renegotiate six months For a in. second year. For a second year. Yeah. They offered me a second year. 
less than six months into my first year. So, so I negotiated a 25% pay increase in the second year. Ooh, so, that's so stuff. yeah, I mean, so, so that that's so when people are saying, Rance, why'd you leave YouTube for two years? That's why, because the money was the money was there, because and the money was money in, bruv. For the money was there, we go. The money, <laughs> bro, the the money, money was money here. You know what I'm it saying? Same money, way the, the numbers is numbering. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Them analytics are analytic in. I want with our and, I, and I was the first, and I was the first, bro, to leave YouTube. That's, and um, you was the first guy you put me onto Twitch. You put many of us on. I was Twitch. the first, That's bro. It. You know what I'm Twitch saying? Sweet, I mean, I brought Ooh. you in, yes. I brought Deluded in, I brought Hajin, yeah, I brought Matisse. Matisse in, I brought Saeed. Bro, I brought Bear Man yeah. in, bro, because I was like, listen, if I'm going to be here. Um, I'm gonna bring in the man and make sure the man yeah. them eat as well. And even Matisse was saying, brother, I was helping him pay his pay his rent, bro. Yo, that's with them Twitch deals was that Twitch that um Twitch accelerator program. Oh, I wish it was back, yo. That was sweet. That that's deal is one of the best deals I've ever had. Oh my yeah, I ate well off that like three times. You see what I'm head. saying? And that's Shout that's that what it is. and that's and that's love, bro. When you put yeah. when you put money in in the man them's pockets that's love bro that's what yeah that real is love that's is, why bro. we salute you for that i'm always like yeah rance put me on to that and that's yeah man ain't well off that and the rest of the man them did for real for mm -hmm. real so being at twitch obviously it's going fantastic shout yeah out well, as well shout out josh man because they looked yeah, after shout me twitch. bro shout out twitch so you're six months in you've renegotiated already pay mm -hmm. increase did you see yourself there now like all right this is my home for the foreseeable future or did you see it coming to a close and it's like i'm going to be back on youtube what no, was I'm, the a, I'm a businessman. What 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 happened was yeah. Go on. Um, obviously I'm smashing it on Twitch. However, stuff happens in life. So I bought the futsal club. Yeah. Um, I was doing loads of other things, yeah, and I realized yeah. that I couldn't commit to being live as much. And YouTube, you can do pre-records and schedule things and all these yeah. other things. So I was like, the way that my life has changed, mm. I need to physically be outside of my house more. And I can't be two places at once. So there yeah. were times where I was going to futsal games and missing watch alongs and stuff like that. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? There was, right. you. do you understand what I'm saying? And yeah, it was yeah. like, the, the way Twitch works is, because you get paid whilst you're live, because that's when you can run the ads. That's when it was, yeah. Exactly. So whereas YouTube, because you can pre-record stuff, you make more money on playbacks because YouTube as a platform is designed for uploads. It's not really a streaming platform. Like yeah. streaming came later. Yeah. Do you see what I'm saying? So you'll Absolutely. make most of your money through the ads on the playback. Whereas yeah. um, Twitch, you make money through live ads. Now they've changed YouTube. So they get live ads like Twitch yeah. and you get payback, which means double the money for us. Do you know what I mean? So <laughs> the fact that um, YouTube have caught up to Twitch, it's been amazing for, it's been amazing yeah. for my future kids. Yeah, facts. That is facts. So then you've seen the writing on the wall, or where to say the curtain on the wall in regards early doors. to Bro, early six doors months before to my Twitch deal was up for mm. renewal, I told them guys, um, not only will I not be renewing, but can you cancel it early? Like I was happy to just Okay. I, I asked them to cancel it. I said, early. Can can you end the contract? Mm. Um and they was like they were like, Listen, you've been with us, like you've overperformed. Mm. We won't cancel the contract. We'll keep paying you, but just basically just stay here in it. Just do as much as you can, kind of thing, and we'll still pay you. Okay, that's fair. Oh, yeah, that's fair then. That's and I was fair. like, cool. Because yeah, my team cool was, yeah. Can. I was, and that's what I mean. They're mad loyal, bro. They've been mad loyal mm. to me. That's why I ain't got nothing bad to say about them. Because they could have easily said, yeah, they could have easily said to save money. All right, cool. We'll cancel the contract. Yeah. But literally, yeah, but literally, yeah, even Josh, yeah, and this is why I love this guy. He's a real G. Yeah. He said to me, bro, I brought you on Twitch, yeah, and you done so well. I got a promotion, bro. So because of that, yeah, like he feels like he owes me, bruv. So yeah. he was kind of like, bro, like you literally, my decision to bring you on Twitch, yeah, worked out so well for him in his personal life in his professional yeah. life that he was like nah i'm gonna make sure until the end of your deal you get you get your money yeah even yeah. even if you can't do the hours yeah even if you can't do the hours i'm gonna make sure that you still get your bread mm. and i was like nah this guy this guy bro that's crazy 
Hey, that's why you do business people. That's why you do the business. But this is why, guys, this is why it's so important, yeah? And this is what I was saying in, when I was in the chat in, for Matisse's thing, yeah? People worried about numbers, yeah? Make sure that you've got the product patterned, bro, before you start worrying about customers. You know, like that? No. Because when you start worrying about customers, yeah, and you ain't got a product, you're doing it the wrong way around. Yep. Have the product first. Yep. Do you know what I mean? And the product will sell itself, bro. And because I went there and I performed, their man said, listen, nah, it's cool. Like, we won't cancel the contract. We'll still give you the money. Do you know what I mean? Even if you can't hit all of the hours that you're meant to hit, don't worry. Yeah. And that and that's what it is. And right, that's so what it is. I made sure that my, my, my product was so good. I had so much success. Do you know what I mean? And because I over-delivered, their man were like, you know what? Nah, we good. keep him here. And because they know that really they underpaid me. Because they know how much I performed. They would have known how much money they made from me. Yeah, 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 said, yeah, You yeah, know yeah. what? We can afford to pay my man even if yeah. he's five hours short in the week or 10 hours short. Mm, it don't matter. Yeah. Like we'll st- We can afford to pay him this because he's made us X amount. You, got, you, you know, got like it. that. And this is what it is. Do you know what I'm yeah. saying? Man saying we're football fans, we're not customers. Yo, everyone's, a, up, just, everyone's, everyone's, rubbish, everyone's a customer. Man's everyone's a rubbish. customer. Go away, no, man. People, everyone's man. a customer, bro. If you yeah. if if you pay for something, you're a customer, bro. Yeah. Do you so know what I'm saying? Go away. Man's just chatting is, rubbish. This is what it is. Man just waffle. You know the man, man's there. As a on. brand, as a brand, as a brand, because YouTubers, influencers, whatever, these guys are all, they're all brands, innit? You're selling yourself. That's what it is. Right, and yeah. whether someone's just clicking a link or whatever, this is how they this is how they pay. This is how they pay. Because when they click the link, you get paid from the ads, so they're paying you. So yeah. even if they're not physically paying you out of their pocket, they're still paying you. Yeah, yeah. And that's just all it is. So it's one of them ones where I over-delivered for them. And because of that, um, they made sure that till the last year, the last month of my contract, they made sure that they looked after me, even though I couldn't um, fulfill all the hours streaming because I was out doing other things, and it didn't yeah. matter. Hey, salute to you, first and foremost, you know what I'm saying, for the hard work and putting out a quality product, and secondly, salute to Twitch as well. Before we continue, we have hit 500 likes, so salute to you lot, big up to everyone that is locked in. We have gone over 500 likes. Continue to hit the subscribe button here at Sarcasm City TV. Make sure you subscribe to Rance's channel. Link is in the title. So then now you've left Twitch. Your deal's ended. It's back over to YouTube. Again, I know you're a driven individual. You're like, all right, let me just carry on with the live streams, carry on with the watch-alongs. You're obviously running Red Talks at these point, getting new people on your platform. That was just all a part of the plan once you left. Was there anything else you wanted to add? You was like, okay, when I go back to YouTube, that you picked up from Twitch or wasn't doing before you was on Twitch? Nah, you know what it was, yeah? While I was on Twitch, while I was getting towards the end of my contract, like, I hired Dave, in it to start clipping... No, Dave. ...to clipping my live streams on Twitch and posting them on YouTube just to get my algorithm working again because, yeah, like, I was on... I think I was on 50K, um... When before I left, someone said that in the chat. Yeah, yeah, yeah I was on 50k days. before I left, didn't it? So I hired Dave to start posting clips just to kind of get my algorithm, algorithm working again, again on YouTube because I knew I was going to be coming back. Hmm. Do you know what I'm saying? And um, that's just what it was. So I started to notice the momentum that my clips were picking up on YouTube. Um, and that was, and I started to notice how much revenue it was generating even before the live shows. Mm. And the live shows are massive earners. So when I started seeing that, I was like, yeah, YouTube's definitely, I need to go back there because if I start doing my lives there, plus I get to pre upload you know and do all these there. other things over there, I already know it's going to be crazy, isn't it? Yeah. So, of course. That's what I did. I just, I did the math in my head and I said, you know what, even though the Twitch bag's good, I can earn that money doing less work on YouTube if I'm smart in it. So that was my yeah. thing. Like work smart, not hard in it. So Thanks. that's all it was. It's like, if I can work less and make more, that's the dream in it. Yeah. And that's no, why that's I got David and then David doing my editing. 
doing all these other things, which means I'm working less and making more money because Dave's um, doing my editing, doing my clips, doing all these other things that I would have had to do myself. Yeah. And shout out to Dave each and every time as as well. So then mm -hmm. obviously, like we said, you're back. You're, you're getting, you've hired Dave. You're getting the algorithm to algorithm again. You're doing the live shows, et cetera, et cetera. What's the current and the future steps for you, not only with the Ransom Man's channel, but also just as a brand as well? Is there anything you've not done that you want to do? Is there yeah, one the, of the yeah, yeah, polls yeah. you want to do? Talk about Yeah, yeah, yeah. But there's loads of stuff I ain't done, bro. Like, the thing is, like, like I remember you, you said at the start of the show, like, you know what I mean, there's no one in my lane. I'm in a lane on my own, innit? So Facts. it's one of Facts. them ones where, bro, there's, I know I've got so much untapped potential here. Yeah? That's why I'm so comfortable in my own skin because I know there's so many things that I can, there's so many things that I can absolutely smash if I want to. Like, obviously, I started the Rants Reacts does crazy numbers. Do you know yeah. what I mean? It gets to the point now where when people, when Standout TV post a video, mm. like people are telling me that in the comments, man, are saying, I can't wait to see Rants, this, that, and the other. Like, they're noticing that my name is in the comment section, yeah? Yeah about their shit now do you know what i'm saying because mm -hmm. that's a lane another lane like i came into the game doing social commentary and doing reactive stuff and in that lane there's no one there's no one that can do it like me i don't know if there's anyone well to be fair like i don't know if anyone i wouldn't say there's loads of people that do reaction content but yeah but they don't do it like rants because like, they don't do it I the way i do it because it's unique it. it's unique to me and yeah it? So it's one of them ones where for me, obviously there's going to be more of that coming. Like I said, the lifestyle vlogging type stuff with like the fitness, the gym stuff. Once I fully recover from this knee surgery, I'm still doing physio. Then there'll be lifetime, there'll be lifestyle stuff as well, which is a an area I haven't ventured into, but I know that I'm going to smash it. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Because obviously I'm a qualified trainer for many years and also I'm in the gym every day. Um, and also lifestyle content anyway online just does well anyway. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? And it's not me doing it. So if I'm yeah. doing it, it's going to do well because I can still use the same humor and the same delivery that I do everything else. But then I get to show another another side of me bro do you know what i'm saying i was a personal trainer for many years bruv so it's one of them ones where there's loads of guys on in the fitness space that don't have my personality that do very well do you know what i'm saying so i know i could do well in that space the rants react stuff like the red pill space i know i could take that space over if i really wanted to yeah. but i'm not in the business the world that we live in right now quite man are looking for a reason to try to cancel man yeah, you know them ones saying. because it's one of them ones where they're trying to um they're absolutely trying to just clamp down on free speech bro you mm. know like that so it's one of them things where bro like the fitness space and obviously the more the red, kind of red lifestyle red pill. pill space both yeah. of those spaces i know that i can dominate if i if i want to yeah. like like literally, like I'm confident that like, I know that I know that these are spaces that I'm kind of tiptoeing in. Like, bro, even when I went to America, I think I, I think I done, I posted a like a joke, little short about fat people in America because of the food and stuff like that, and I went viral. And I was in the gym, bro. I was working out with my brother in the gym in the basement of the hotel, bro. And I was in my vest training, yeah. and I must have said something about the food and that fat people and it went viral bro like mm. if man does health and fitness stuff that i know that i can go viral in that space yeah. um the red pill stuff i've already gone viral in that space like mm -hmm. my rants react stuff that i post on um that i post on um instagram bro all the stuff has gone viral immediately, bro. Like, literally. Hey, man, going viral on a, from the jump and still continue bruh, to for like, all bro, these years like, later. Bro, this is the last to. ones I posted, yeah? Like, this one, brother. Because mm. on some of them, it tells you how many hours that, Talk about. that you get on there, bro. And I've seen, like, all of these have gone viral. Every single Rants Reacts thing that I've posted... Mm has gone viral bro this kind of content when man is talking about gal and all them other things that like, they just mm. go viral bro all of them 
And this is what it is, bro. So I can't lie, bro. This is, I know whatever bag man decides to jump into, yeah, like, I'm only just getting started, bro. Like, the dating stuff, like, that's my Talk bag. Do you know what I'm saying? The, the gym stuff's my bag as well. And these are two things that I haven't really tried yet. And even mm. the football thing, that wasn't the first thing I did. I was doing politics before that, bro. And this is why I genuinely say that I'm in, I'm in a lane of my own. Like, I, I, said don't, it, you were. I don't have competition, bro. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? Because there's no creator on this platform that has the range that I have, bro. Talk about it. They don't have it. Do you know what I'm saying? And I don't care how that makes people feel. Like, do you talk know what I mean? Yo, people... Talk up the things then, fam. No, because you know what it is, yeah? I say things definitively and it makes people feel insecure. You know that one? So, like, sometimes I see people say, oh, Rance thinks he knows everything. I don't know everything. But what I don't know, that's why I read. You know, mm. like that. Where some people are You're just... You're always trying to learn. learn. You're always exactly. trying to learn. Whereas some yeah. people are ignorant, yeah? And they'll, they're happy to remain ignorant, bro. That's why I'm mm. always reading. I'm always upskilling because upskilling myself and learning, yeah, and just self-improvement in general, yeah, is that's how I live. Yeah. Do you know I what I'm saying? That's how I live. I'm always trying to be better than yesterday, bro. So that's always like, trying to improve. But that's what I'm saying. So I'm yeah. always trying to eat better. I'm always trying to sleep better. I'm always trying to drink better. I'm always trying to train better. I'm always trying to be smarter. Do you know what I'm saying? So I'm always reading every day. I'm always upskilling myself. So when I sit here and I say things definitively, it's because that's what it is, bro. I genuinely believe that, bro. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because no, wrong with backing yourself, fact. and it's worked so far. But bro, it's a fact, though. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So people will look at it and say, "Oh, like, nah, bro. It's a fact. No one ever got yeah. anywhere by believing that they couldn't get there." Do you know Facts. what I'm saying? Because yeah, if you believe yeah. you can't get there, you go in with the wrong attitude from the Dude, start. Anyway, yeah, yeah. That you got your thoughts become things. You got to put the right energy out there without this, without doubt. But this, but this is the thing. But the fact is, when I left the other channel, mm. I left. I left before everyone else. I knew I was going to be successful. I am. Um, do you know mm. what I'm saying? And that's why my man's always trying to sneak this at everything because he wishes, yeah, that I left and I flopped so he can say, yeah, he ain't shit yeah, without, ain't me. without me. Yeah. Tough, tough story. You know them ones can't do that. That's why man hates on Saeed because Saeed's thriving yeah. as well. Saeed doing his You know thing. what I'm saying? Saeed man's only sneak back. this in the man them that are doing well. Do you mm. know what I'm saying? And mm -hmm. well off their own back. So just from the little stuff that you man have seen me do in the dating space, no one's doing that better than me. Mm. No one, and I haven't Talk done. And I've only been doing it for a few months. So, when we look at the red peel space that's thriving right now, when we look at like, like the fresh and fits, and who else can is really in that space? I don't know. Pearl was in that space. I went on one of Pearl's shows. Um, and there's like these other guys, like there's like Rolo Tomasi and. The other Sartain guy and all these guys. These guys have got loads of knowledge, but none of when it comes to delivery, none of these guys can sit next to me. Talk about it. Yeah, when it comes to delivery, they can't sit with me. Do you know what I mean? I got so much respect for Myron. He's funny. You know them ones, and he's got loads, he's got loads of knowledge and all these things. Mm. But the thing is, when it comes to delivery, when it comes to delivery, I I cannot be fucked with. I know this. Do you know what I mean? Like, unfuck withable blood. They need to Talk put that in the dictionary, bro. Yeah, you need that unfuck withable con uh, confidence. Your yeah, confidence bro. has to be unfuckable with. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, put it in yeah. the dictionary. What? Do you know what I'm saying? That's because it. this is just what it is, bro. And mm -hmm. that's the one thing. It's like, that's why I know no matter what space I go into. You're going to be successful there. Because it's my delivery, bro. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? It's my delivery because it's the intangibles. It's because it's who I am. Yes. Do you know what I mean? If I decide I want to, I decide if I want to do F1 content, I'm going to be the best motherfucking F1. And then if I decide I want to do golf, I'm going to be the best at golf. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Because this is, this is the mindset I have, bro. And this yeah. is why I say, yeah, that you can't be the best at anything, yeah, if you don't believe it first. It's impossible. Facts. It's impossible, bro. Like, my mindset is unbreakable. I'm fuckable with. Yeah, bro. Like, it's different. You know what I mean? Yeah. So when people see me being successful at things, yeah, just know that before I was successful, I knew I was going to be successful. None, none of this is an accident.
And yeah. when you speak like this, it makes people feel uncomfortable it because really does. Because they confidently, yeah, because they want to say no nah, rants, but everyone's equal and you gotta work hard and all this, bro. Working hard is is normal to me. That's like breathing air. So I don't applaud people for working hard because I work hard every day of my life. Do you know Doing what I mean? Work. It's the yeah. it's the bare minimum. You're one of the yeah. hardest working people that I've seen on this platform. That's why, yeah, when you get what you get, I'm mm. not gonna be surprised, bro, because every okay. time I look on the platform, Flawless is live. It could be mm. one in the morning, Flawless is live. Mm. You know that? that? And this is the reason why, yeah, when he gets what he gets, bro, like, I'm not going to be it's shocked. It's not going to be a shock to you. If someone Same says, with yeah, Deluded. Yeah, Same yeah, with yeah. Deluded. That brother's always live, bro. Not yes, going to be shocked. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? And, and this is just what it is, bro. Not mm. going to be shocked, bro. That's why no one should be shocked when I get what I'm supposed to get. Nah, because, facts, I'm bro, not shocked. That's why I already said you're going to get 100k. You're gonna get bro, 100k. It's not bro, when it's, I mean, it's not if it's when it's when. <laughs> when bro, there's no one with that's putting out the volume mm -hmm. with the quality and the consistency. Mm -hmm. It's all right being good for one year, two years. Bro, I stopped you posting in Facebook like in 2018, bro. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I'm saying? That's when I stopped. So I've been six, I've been like six years on this, well, five years on this platform, but not really. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? Because I had two years on Twitch. So even yeah. when you think about I've been Twitch in two years, what I've done in less than three years is kind of dumb. It's crazy. Numbers Do you know what I'm saying? Mean, because I took two it's years not... out, bro. And then I was on another platform. And then even when I first started on this platform, I was posting stuff from Facebook mm. to here. So I wasn't really you. I haven't really focused on YouTube for more than like three years. Yeah. And look at where you're at. Like I say, it's a question of when, not if, when you hit 100K. And you're going to get there expeditiously as well. Yeah, bro. bro listen, I, I work too hard, broski. Danish you know Maldini. I mean? That is this yeah. is a very, very valid. It's not, point. Look, bro, I'm, this is yeah. YouTube is the ultimate grind, bro. That's what it is, bro. And I'm a hustler by nature, bro. So because of this, yeah. to me, this is I just look at this like this is easy money because I'm a grafter, bro. Do yeah. you know what I mean? Like, that's it. I'm built for this, and this is why, even with my football opinions, I don't rate these industrious ballers because it's the bare minimum. Working it's hard. the bare minimum, bro. Working, working hard, hard, bro, because the, yeah. I come from that. Do you know what I'm saying? I need to be impressed by the flair, bro. Do you know what I'm mm. saying? Like, yes, I work hard, but I got flair, bro. Mm, mm, mm. Do you know what I'm saying? My my wit, my ban on my jokes and all that. That's the flair, bro. Do you know what I mean? That's that's the sombreros. That's the rainbow flicks, bro. When yeah. man's taking a piss and I'm busting jokes and doing all of that, that's the flair, bro. Yeah. I'm not just here because I'm Dan James. I ain't Dan James. You know, like that. And and this so is what bad. it is, bro. Nah, bro. Man's got the man's got the sprinkles, bruv. You know what Look I'm saying? Like, man. The I'm, extra sprinkles. I'm, I'm doing I'm doing stuff for no reason. Do you know what the I'm saying? Man's doing, man's doing man's doing the Bobby Firmino no look, bruv. Open goal and that. Man's doing yeah, no facts. You do the extra stuff. You get the ball off the goalkeeper and just dribbling oh. inside the own six yard box. It is. And yes, the Davis yeah, Baldini says everyone that's come on these specials has talked about work rate. That ain't by luck. One hundred and ten percent. You are right. And for people who don't know, all you have to do there's a there's a playlist on the channel with all the specials, people. You can go mm. back because they're all from this week anyway, but it's a playlist. So let me just clarify. Troops, Lewis, Lee Gunner, Matisse, Hassam, now Rants, Zar as well, Zar was on today, are all specials that have gone on. And there's one, there's not one tomorrow. There's one on Sunday, one on Monday currently, people. So just keep a lookout. Like I said, you'll see them. They're all there. Carry on, Rants. Carry on. See, even yeah, Eddie bro. says it. <laughs> Cruyff turns in his own box <laughs> Yeah bro So like bro It's not a, it's not a surprise Bro like I work hard bro Everyone says it Do you know what I'm yes, saying Everyone you, says You work oh, extremely You work but, extremely bro, hard But this is the thing I work hard But also It's the quality bro Do you know what I'm saying Because I'll be real In this social media space There's so many guys That have come out And they've done um, Sketches And they've done all these things And that's not to and that's not to disrespect anyone because it's one of them ones where in the, the the age of social media, it's so easy to go viral, yeah, and then nothing happens next. Yeah, there's the, no it's easy one. to have a hit single, but then what's the follow-up? Exactly, bro. Like, bro, look what I've done. I built, yeah, a Facebook page to over 100K, yeah, in less than two years. Left there. 
got bruv i've built my youtube channel Top left the there went on yeah. twitch for two years got the bag there came back yeah. and now i'm gonna hit 100k here yeah Talk i've about done it. i've done that so bro i've built three platforms mm -hmm. in this in the amount of time yeah that most people can't build I one. Build one, yeah. Talk, hey, talk up the things, them. You know, like that, know. Like, you know, the reason why I'm saying it like this is because I, I'm only realizing it now, <laughs> because I'm the kind of person, yeah, that I just go, 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 and I don't look back. So yeah, now, you don't look at what you've done. Now I'm speaking to you. I'm starting to actually say to myself, right, you did that. Yes. You know, like that. See, because that's I didn't realize I left in 2018. I had to ask you. Yes. Yeah. 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 You did. You did. Come on, yeah. bro. That's and what I mean. So I've done that. I built three platforms, bro, in six years. Dude, talk up the things, them people. Come people on, can't bro. build up one platform in six years. Some people can't build up one platform in sixteen years. Some people have big platforms that are unhappy on those big platforms. And bro, you see, the, and you see the 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 epiphany you just had there. That's yeah. what the show is all about, fam. Right there and then, you look for everyone watching this right now. Everyone listening on the audio platforms as well. See how rants there is just like the reason why I'm saying it like this is because I'm just realizing it is exactly yeah. why I do these specials is to give people their flowers and make them realize as much as they can. You have further goals and further aspirations. Look at what you've done. Need to be uh. celebrated. Give people their flowers while they're here. Rants, you one of the best in this thing, hundred percent, without doubt. And you know this, and I'm yeah, saying I, it I, I, yeah, to me as well. You know what I'm saying? I'm just letting you know, like. You are not wrong, as the chat is also letting you know that you are not wrong. And like I say, one of the you're on the Mount Rushmore of this thing, without yeah, doubt. Yeah, bro. No, but I'm, without I'm, doubt. I'm like, when I look at people in it, the the person I probably I identify with the most is probably like Dame Dash. Like when I see Dame, yeah, I see a lot of myself in terms of. He's like, fuck it, I want to do things my way. Yeah, you know yeah. them ones. It's all about ownership. It's yeah. all about being yourself. You know them ones. And it's like, you can be Dame or you can be Jay, innit? You know them ones. And it's like, I'll be Dame every single time. Do you know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? Because the thing is, I love Jay-Z. Like, but the thing is, Jay can't look anyone in the face and say that he ain't fucked anyone over. Like, he can't. You know them ones there? He can't. You know them as well as me. I can look a man in the eye and say no one can ever say that I fucked them over. Yeah. You know them ones there, and and that's why that pagan over on the other channel here. Yeah? The reason why everyone that was there at the beginning has left him here, yeah? and he's miserable with all the perceived success is because he knows he doesn't deserve it, mm. and he's uncomfortable in his own skin now because he screwed yeah. so many people over that he can't even he can't even walk down the down the street. Yeah, he can't even attend can't even attend events and stuff like that. Yeah, and this is what it is, bro, because he's fucked over so many people in the industry, he can't go to certain places. And when he does go to certain places, he has to ask who's going to be there. I don't need to do that because there's love for me everywhere I go because I've helped so many people in this space. Most of the time when I go That's places, I'm just chilling with the guys. Yeah, facts. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, someone asked me how um about Grizz Khan, bro. Like, bro, I met Grizz at an 888 shoot, bro. A shoot to do some Ooh, content, bro. brother. Mm. If I'm lying, I'm dying. Never met this guy ever mm. before. Me and him ended up doing a face off, Man United Liverpool. Yeah, it's the last post on the Facebook page. Yeah, and me and see, there you go. And me and him got on well, bro. Do you know what I mean? I think we exchanged mm. numbers. Do you know what I mean? Or we might have followed each other on Twitter, probably actually. Yeah, and then, bro, imagine, yeah. I know the, the guy's at 90 minutes because he works at 90 minute football. Yeah, Do you know yeah, what yeah. I mean? And I'm the one that bust him. You okay. know, like that. Because basically, um, Scott hit me up. I was like, rah, like my my Liverpool fan has cancelled. you know one? And I was like, yo, yeah, Grizz, blood. Grizz, like, yeah, yeah. Grizz. And then I, I put, I gave him Grizz's number. Then man linked up. Grizz went there, smashed it. Hmm. And then bro, like, bro, they gave him a job. My man's there yeah. now. I look at you Grizz, yeah. Shout out Grizz. And, Grizz and that was just from that was just a free ball from me, and I don't even met yeah. that bread once in my life. Yeah, I get you. you. You know, like that, and that's the kind of person I am. So no one's gonna turn around and say that Rance did anything other than foul. help them. Yeah. You, you weren't. You know, you foul to them. Facts, bro. Facts. I met him once, and I was like, "Yo, Scott, cool brother. That's the mm. guy." 
And now look, bro, my man's got his YouTube channel. He's on the big six. He's doing all that. Yes, and dude. that all, and literally that all come from me just saying to man, yo, go link up with these man. He's, he's good people. Mm. Do you know what I mean? He said, Grizz always gives me credit for that. Exactly. And he doesn't need to give that me is. credit for that because I never spoke about it. It was him that keeps telling people. And that tells you the kind of person he is as well. Yes. yes. You know, like that. A real one. Yeah, I thought so. Grizz, that's man, what I'm people. saying. But also I felt that he was that kind of guy. Yeah. And that's why I didn't feel no way to, to just yeah. say, yo, he he's cool. Because as soon as I met him, I was like, you know, when you energy is real, people. Mm. You could be around people and I'm just like, yo, this is a good he, brother. Yeah. Like you can tell if someone's energy is on or if their energy is off. Bro, because we got there early and the guys were shooting before. And then we realized that we were going to be sitting doing opposite each other. Off doing the face off and then we started talking and he's from East London. Do you know what I'm saying? And then we were just chatting and I was like, yo, good brother, you know? Mm -hmm. So after, I didn't feel no way to put him forward. Um, and then look what he's gone and done with it. And he, yeah, but that's it. And he's ran with it and look at him and he deserves yeah. everything. Bro. He's a good Shout out to Grizz, you know man. Every single this, time, man. This is what it is. If you can't help people, then you're really not that guy, bruv. You're really not influential, bro. When you're influential, yeah. You can help. You can help it. people, Talk you know, like that. that. That's the one thing. If Scott didn't respect my opinion, yeah, then they, then I can't send Grizz there. Yeah, yeah. He's Why not did even he asking ask you. He's not even Why asking you asking if you don't respect you. Cool. But... Why is he asking me? Because he understands that, yo, I'm a good judge of character and I don't have idiots around me. Mm. So anyone that I put forward is going to be certain. Yeah. Do you see what I'm trying to say? And I this mean, is exactly what it is. That's what people need to understand, yeah? Like, I am respected in this space. Absolutely. Off the camera, bro. I don't absolutely. care. No one needs to give me my flowers on camera. I don't care. I know that yeah, when I walk... That, I hear you. I hear you. But I know when I walk into rooms, yeah, and I go to award shows and everything, man are coming up to me and they're hailing me up because they see what man's doing. I'm a real guy and this is why I can send for that pagan all the time and I know that he can't say nothing because I know he's got nothing. Do you understand? You see, yeah, when you live your life like me and you live your life the right way, you can just literally just be firing shots at people because they can't that good come energy back. comes back to you. When you put out good energy, good energy comes back. You oh, put out bad true. energy, bad energy comes back. And that's what I mean. There's certain people that have screwed over so many people that if a man says something, they can't even retaliate because they're scared that a man might expose them with something. Mm. You know, like that. There's right, nothing yeah. to be exposed about because everyone that you speak to will say, oh, I remember when Rant's done that for me, he done that for me. Oh, he's a cool brother. He did this for me. He didn't have to do that. No one's going to say, oh, I remember that time where he did that. But even the people that are watching this now, most of the people here have probably DM'd me on Instagram and I've responded. Mm. Most of them, bro, because that's mm. who I am, bro. So anyone that's character. talking shit about me don't know me. Mm. And if you don't know me, your opinion don't mean shit anyway. That's it. They talk, they talk, they talk that is and that. That's it, bro. You can get blocked on my channel. You yeah, can get blocked on my channel because if you don't know me, your opinion don't mean shit. Do you know what I mean? So if comes... you say something and I don't like it, blocked by blocked. And that comes full circle to what I said at the intro in the very start about you not caring about people's opinion, you know what I'm saying, of you and you stating your opinion. Hey, big up to everyone who's still locked in over three hours. We're at 533 likes. Let's get that up to 550. Continue to hit the subscribe button on the channel, Sarcasm City TV. Make sure you subscribe to Rancy's channel. Links in the title. Don't forget, people, this show, or this special, all the other specials you've seen this week are available on audio-only platforms. The links are underneath in the description. I'm going to add them in the chat anyway. But Spotify, iTunes, Apple Podcasts, SoundCloud, wherever you listen to podcasts, type in Sarcasm City TV, and we will pop up people don't worry about that it sounds crazy because we've been talking for over three hours rants is there anything we've missed on the journey that you want to add with any key moments key people i think we've i think we've discussed it all i believe so i believe so do you know what i'm yeah. saying yeah, yeah, yeah i wouldn't say that i missed anything yeah you know i mean all i right. just want to be everyone that i've worked with um along the way blood because everyone's doing well bro and i'm proud of all of them like people always say to me oh rants like what happened to xyz bro and I think Matisse touched on it yesterday with like Lee Gunner when Lee Gunner had to leave the show and stuff like yeah. that, bro. Like the best thing for me is when the man them get so busy that 
they're not available. Like Matisse, mm. me, Matisse, and Delida used to do a show together, and now Matisse is doing so many different things. He's not Matisse available be, as man. much, bro. And it's good to see, bro. Like, do you bro. know what I'm saying? Like Matisse knows, yeah. If he needs anything, he can ring me, bro. That's how it is. And he said that he obviously he wants me to go and do a podcast when he's ready. I'll Make do sure it. you do that, man. Because you in London. I'm, next time I'm in London, yeah. I already told him. Yeah, bro, I'll like, do it. Like, and it's no problem. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, bro, like the best thing for me is when the man them are so busy that they're doing other things. The one thing I do prefer, though, is if the man them have their own thing. Do you know what I'm saying? And they're not doing mm. other people's things because I know in life, like, a lot of people, bro, they're, you're useful as long as you're useful. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm. And it's just like, man them, don't neglect your own thing. That's what mm. I would say. So shout out Deluded. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Like, shout out Hajj. Do you know what I mean? Shout out yourself, obviously, Saeed. Everyone, bro, like Everyone. that, the that whole gang, gang. And, now, and then you got the young G's now, no, um, north side and yes. months. Yep, you know what I mean? shout north side, shout Mont, Mont, Mont is unreal as well, blood. Like, yeah, he, that's that's family. That's that's he my reminds bro right me there. like of a young me in terms of he's you could tell he's a student of the game, bro. Like, yes. some of the players that he brings up, he's too young to know these players, so I know that he's gone back and he's watched football, and that's what I've done. Do you know what I'm saying? Because a lot of the players I know about, I've had to go back and watch them. Do you know what I mean? So when I hear him talking about certain players that he should have, he should not know who they are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Of the game. Yeah, Super so I know that this guy well. is obsessed with football, isn't it? Like, and I fuck with that. Like, because yeah. that's what I was like. That's what I was like. It's like, who's that player? This, that, and the other. Man's going back, watching old Van Basten, watching all these other things. So when he's talking about all these players i'm like yeah this prayer is like he's on his football team like me yeah Do you know Montes, what i'm saying shout out oh. shout out to months every single time man. So, Montes, yeah, real one, man so yeah, yeah. man it's, it's one of them ones and then obviously it just is what it is be like everyone obviously gonna like whatever bro like man's just not gonna remember everyone because the thing is i work with so many people, many people. And, then, and then people move on like cams has moved on he's doing his thing do you know mm -hmm. what I mean? But loads of people will say to me, Ra, like the first time I saw Cams was on your channel. And now Cams is doing amazing things. Yes. You know, like that. So shout him out. Do you know what I mean? Obviously, Joel at Cheeky Sport. Like, do you know what I mean? There was stuff that me and Troops done. Me and Troops were the originals on the, the Cheeky Sport podcast. Mm. Back in the day, before it was the other man, it was me, Troops, um, Big J. Do you know what I'm yeah. saying? And and Joel, like back in the day, if people remember that far back, that those were like Rinse FM days. <laughs> if I said Rinse FM, you taking it back. I remember listening Rinse to FM, MCs bro. On Rinse FM. I remember listening to MCs on Rinse FM. You said, see Rinse what FM. I'm trying to say, bro? So like, Rinse bro, Rinse, uh, when I tell things. you, I have brother, like I have, nah, the, the journey's been nuts. Been I can't even lie The journey's been nuts bro mm. Do you know what I'm saying Shout out everyone The journey has been crazy Do you know what I mean Shout out Don Robbie as well If I ever need any, Robbie, man. If I ever Don need Robbie. any Like business advice Or whatever He's the man bro He's the guy You, you know like that He's the businessman You know yeah. what I mean Not even in This space But just, just in, in life bro. Whether it's properties Whether it's anything Don Robbie's the guy You know like that So it's always good Having like An OG there That I know If I need anything I can phone him you know them ones because yeah. people need mentors in life, but most people ain't got that, bro. Like mm. I could just bring him up now. You know them ones, like yeah, yeah, and you yeah. know what I mean. And DT can thank Don Robbie as well because if it weren't for Don Robbie, I'd have weighed him in. It wouldn't even have got to the boxing ring. You know them ones. It was Don Robbie that rang me and was like, "Yo," because he knows my dad, and he, you know what I'm saying. So it's one of them ones where, as much mm. as I know, like he was trying to throw Robbie under the bus, he owes he owes Robbie. Trust me, because if it weren't mm. for Robbie, blood, that story could have been a lot different. It would have been different. Thanks, for you know what? Thanks <laughs> to Don Robbie, man. Thanks you know, to like Don that. Robbie. So, Big up Don Robbie. Yeah. Man. So like, there's loads of there's loads of things, but there's so many Not people in this space that man's cross paths with, mm. like around the way. Like even Terry Flewers, yeah. We used to share a studio with Terry when we used to mm. do the Flex and Rant show. Terry used to use the same studio. Oh, That's how I met too. Terry, like, because they used to do the UFF thing in, okay, in the okay. same studio. So I met yeah, him yeah. there. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, okay, like, all them. these people Crazy. in the space, I've met and we've crossed yeah, paths with the whole time, like, doing loads of different things. Like, it's yeah. mad. Like, I, there's not many people in this space that are doing well that, like, I come met. across and I haven't met or I don't have mm. some sort of 
relationship with. Do you know what I'm mm. saying? So I know that I've been in. Hey, bro, like, I'm, what can I say? Like, this is the golden generation. It's the golden era. You know that. Talk about more, it. Bro, I didn't realize. It's only now I'm talking about, about it. it. Yeah, man. Now I'm but talking here, about it. I'm thinking, bro, like, in terms of, like, football YouTube, I know when man was saying the Mount Rushmore thing, yeah? Yeah. I was just, I was overlooking it, but... I've, I know everyone. Like, bro, yeah. like, bro, you know what's mad? Like, bro, even when I done my comedy thing, yeah, bro. Talk about it. Hold on a second. Let me go in my phone. Because even when I tell you I done my comedy show, you know when I done my comedy show, yeah? Mm. You know that Mo Gilligan, yeah? And yeah, his yeah. management and that were there because they wanted to sign me, bro. Oh, jeez. I didn't know that. That's crazy. Bro, I'm not a dickhead, bro. This yeah. is the crazy thing. Like, I've done so many things, yeah? I've done so many things that, like, now I'm thinking about, bro. Do you know mm. what I'm saying? Like, bro, I big up Loomis as well. Like, man, just open my phone, yeah? Look at that picture there, yeah? At, oh, oh, one second. Lower it, lower it. Oh, bro, it's not zooming in. That's at Ian Wright's Christmas party. Look at Loomis there. Joel, Ian Wright. Bro, Don Crazy. Like, that was in 2019. Bro, you know the amount of shit that I've done? Mm -hmm. Bro, what the hell, bro? Like, Mad. What have I missed? And that's what this show's about. You know what I'm saying? See the epi a second epiphany you've had. This is what the Sarcasm City TV specials are all about, people. You're seeing yeah. it right now in the flesh. When I done my show, when I done my show, most people were there, bro. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? And they wanted to sign me, actually. Like, And that's when I decided to go away from the live stuff. Yeah. Um, And do that. But Mo's, look what Mo's doing now. And yeah, Kay yeah, Curd as well. Like, them man there, like, I was meant to be on the same roster as them. Clear. But I decided to go away from the comedy thing mm. and do that instead. Look at me and Mo here at One Extra, BBC. Hold up. One second, yeah. It's going to focus. It should focus in. It's not focus. Oh, it's not focusing. Hold up. It's not focusing. Yeah, send it through to me. Bruv. Oh, hold on. I'll send you that now. Hold on. Yeah, yeah. send that through to me because I'll be able to, yeah, send that through to me now. Uh, I'll be yeah. able to put it on the screen. Yeah, yeah, cool, cool, cool. I'll send you that, and let me see if i got any others. Mm. But, bro, that's what I'm saying, bro. That's me and Mo at BBC. Mm. Bro, I even got a picture of us in a fucking barbershop. You know them ones, like... That's what I'm trying to say, broski. Like, like, that was... It was different, bro. Like, mm. my thing was different. Hold on, I'll send it to you now. Yeah. Oh, good, fam. No stress. They big up King, I see you in the chat, Black Diamond as well. All the regulars, all the new people, I see you lot, everyone who's enjoying. What thing? Good that's what, that's what I'm saying, bro. So like, and look what Mo's doing yeah, now. Yeah, look what focus, Mo's doing yeah. now. Yeah, we'll focus. Hold on. Look, yeah, there, there it is. See that's what people. I mean. Look at me and Mo there, bro. And that's what I'm trying to say, bro. So, yeah. bro, this is what yeah, I'm trying yeah. to say to you, bro. Like, man's been... Like, bro, so. look, that's what I'm saying. So, like, bro, that's what I mean. There's me and Mo in the barber shop, bro. If you like, see that right there, bro. That's what I'm trying to say. So, bro, like, man, understand. If I wanted to do the comedy thing, I could have done the comedy thing. Like, his mm. his managers wanted to sign me, bro. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, well, let mm. me tell you, bro. Listen, I was going to watch his shows. Do you know what I'm saying? I even brought a girl to one of his shows, blood. Man went on a date to one of Mo's live shows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know them ones there. I just hit up mm -hmm. the management because they wanted to sign me. And that's the brother from Back Chat as well. Yeah. Mm. Bro. And I was like, yo. So I was flexing a little bit. You know them ones, little buff thing. And I was like, yo. She she was like, okay. oh, I want to go see Mo. I said, what? I said, yo, you want to see Mo? Man. Yeah. I said, what? VIP thing. What do you mean you want to see Mo? Man hit up the management. Cause they wanted to sign me and I said, yo, mm. yeah, man, we're going to see Mo. What do you mean? Guest list thing. Boom. This man, listen, I was flexing. Man mm. talking about. You see what I'm trying to say? Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, talk your ish, fam. Talk your, yo, hey, that's bro, what you're here for. Talk your shit. Outside. And then after that, man went backstage, everything like that. That's what I'm saying. Like, talk bro, I've shit. been outside and that's where I met K Curd. And then I ended up going on um, a podcast with K Curd later on. And mm. all these brothers are signed to the same people. Do you know what I yeah, mean? Yeah. And Ola, Ola the comedian as well. A few of them. But I was in that comedy circle, bro. And mm. I could have easily been there. Do you know what I mean? But I chose to be here. Do you know what I mean? Because these man wanted to sign me, bro. Like, 
Leeds Reading Festival, all of that. Mm -hmm. Man got signed for that. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, man got signed to do that, bro. There's even, they do like an Edinburgh thing as well for the comedy. Then mm. man wanted me to go there, bro. Like, my life could have been completely different if I chose to go that route. And that's why I genuinely believe whatever I wanted to do, I was smashing it anyway. You going to be successful regardless whatever you put your mind to. Crazy. Regardless. Regardless. Crazy. Don't matter. See, and that's you what know, this show is it? about, man. Giving your giving you your flowers and making sure you can smell them. You get what I'm saying, and making sure you know, like like you said, you're having epiphany right here and figuring out, like, right, what man's done and the pla how many platforms are built on, and who I know, and all these fantastic things you've done. And the chat keep asking about it, so we are gonna get to it. Don't worry, man. I see the chat. How do I ask this question? Because it's daft. Because obviously, his family is your younger brother. But what is it like? working with expressions because obviously you two on camera the chemistry is off the charts and you know that's off camera as well and obviously like you've mentioned in regards to the success you like seeing other dons have success or so seeing your little brother have great success as well but yeah what's it just like yeah that's the best question i could ask what's it like working with expressions it must be fun man yeah but bro you gotta understand me and my brother shared a room up until we we're like 15 years old so mm. um is when me and my brother having conversations, did they, they, they're the exact same conversations that we have off camera? Yeah, like that's what it is. Like, even our dynamic, you know, you can tell, like, when I'm talking and then my brother says things to try and wind me up, you can see it, <laughs> you know, you can see it. He'll keep repeating the same thing, yeah, to try and get me to nibble, and then I just ignore him. Like, you can see the dynamic, like, it's there, the big brother, little brother dynamic, yeah. Yeah, 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 like you could just tell he's just trying to get me to react to something, and I'm just like, Oh, here he goes again. I'm ignore this, I'm ignore this, and I'm gonna ignore this, you know what I mean? And so, like, working with my brother is just it's like normal life, do you know what I mean? He does the same thing in real life, and I do the same thing in real life. He'll say something to try trigger me, or he'll ask a question because he knows it's gonna get you to go off, it's, it's gonna get me to go off. <laughs> You know there was there, so he'll ask me something, yeah. yeah, and then I know that he just wants the reaction, you know, like that. And then when I get pissed off, and he'd be like, "Yeah, that's why I asked it." Like I know <laughs> why he does these things, and that's why, like, when me and my brother talk, he'll he'll bring up Martial or he'll bring up Sancho <laughs> or he'll bring up Pogba because he knows those are things that are are liable to to piss me off. You know what I mean? Even when it's got nothing to do with them, so. Yeah. Like my brother does those things in it. Like we, I just know him, bro. So with my brother, yeah. it's like this is our dynamic in real life, and that's mm. why, you, like I say, you can't fake chemistry, bro. Yes, that is true. You can't, you can't, you can't you know, fake chemistry. You know, you know, it's genuinely, and I know that's the conversations you two be having off air. And obviously, not only if you like eating together in regards to the space as well, he's doing exceptional on his own. It was so that's amazing. Making, when my brother went full time and we could go mm -hmm. gym together and we could both not work to get mm -hmm. like, and spend that, bro. That was, that was when YouTube became worth it for me. Mm -hmm. When my brother was full time and I was full time, when we both were just making YouTube money and we could get up, go gym together. You look remember, like I taught him how to cook, do you know what I'm saying? Mm. Taught him what to eat. Do you know what I'm saying? And he was training with me and my brother put on some, some muscle because he was training with me. Do you yeah, know what I'm yeah. saying? And it was like, we got to spend bare time together. And mm. it was like, we're both adults, but we're going gym at 12 in the afternoon. And everyone's at work. Like, mm. that was when YouTube, I started enjoying it. Before, when I was full time and my brother wasn't, I didn't enjoy mm. it because it's like a cool, like, I'm at home and my brother's at work, you know, like that. And it was dead to me. But then once we were both full time and we were just hanging out, we had the podcast, we were going gym, mm. you get me? Then it was like, all right, cool. Now it's lit, you yeah, know, like yeah. that. And, th and that's what it was. So like, yeah, YouTube only really became lit when like me and my brother were both full time and man got to spend bare time with my brother. And it's my brother. My brother's the only person on this planet that I could spend every day with and not and not get fed up of him he's the I only person no he's the only person bro like there's no, no one else on this planet yeah that i can be around every day and enjoy it you know yeah. them ones there like bro and that's why like bro i swear down like when i have a family eventually it's gonna be the toughest thing not even my mom not even my mom now my mom's a woman bro my brother's a man like it's different 
You know them ones there? Nah, bro. If I was my mom every day, bro, nah. Nah, nah, nah. Car, nah, no way. You know them I ones there? Bro, I, I grew up in the house here with my mom and two older sisters, bro. Man used to come home from school and all three of them are on their period at the same time. And I'm getting, I'm just getting pelters for no reason. Because you know when women live together, all their flipping cycles, flipping synchronize and that, bro. A man's coming home and there's three women on their periods, blood, at the same time. Nah, bro. That's yeah, such a way we work. Nah, bro. Listen, if you man don't know that that pain, allow it. The man don't know that. Man was getting pelters, like, for no reason. Man will come through. Before I've taken a rucksack off my back and taken their headphones out my ear, I'll hear someone chatting shit. <laughs> oh, my days. You know, like that? Nah, bro. I'm telling you. Uh... No, thanks, no thanks, bro. You know, like that? So, no. <laughs> That's the no. My brother's the only person. All right, first, nah, that's that's very loving to say he's the only person you could spend that much time with. Before we do indeed close out, people, because we've done a lot, like I say, longest special we've done. I already knew it was going to be a fantastic live stream with rents because I already we have these type of conversations, not this in depth off air all of the time. But now we've done the whole backstory up until this point. Current affairs quickly with Manchester United, obviously not season not going well at all is an understatement. Ten Hag under major pressure. Gareth Southgate links. We've been linked to the Zerbi. We've been linked to Nagelsmann, Zidane. The list goes on and on and on. What do you want to see for the rest of the season? And in regards to the question of the actual live stream as well, who do you want to see the next manager be of Manchester United? I think everyone knows I want the Zerbi. And that's for the end the rest of the season. The honest answer is I don't give a shit. You know them ones there? Like, I don't care. You know what I mean? Bro, I've written the season off. I'm just here, bruv. I'm here for a good time, not a long time. You get me? The season's done, innit? it? You know, like that. It is what it is. <laughs> but like, bro, like, what do you want me to say? Because if we win the FA Cup, then like, oh, we oh, won, but at what cost? Do you know what I mean? Because if it means that this bread stays... I was going to say that. Then do I don't want to win it. Do you, do know you say I mean? if he wins the trophy, do they keep him? No, well, they sacked Van Gaal, so that shouldn't be enough. And also, the owners did say, yeah, that they're not going to use the results of the FA Cup um, to make the decision. But, bro, you can't trust these guys. Do you know what I'm saying? Because people say that, but, bro, like, things change, innit? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Things change, bro. Success, you've seen it. We beat Liverpool, and now everyone's going on like we've been good all season. So imagine if we win the FA Cup, the euphoria. They might fuck around and give him a contract extension. Yeah, 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 yeah. They can't. I can't. Uh, can't. Hey, bro, listen, I'll be real, yeah? My thing is, yeah, like, right. you man have seen, if you can learn anything from me, yeah, is that I see things ahead of time, yeah, and it's like, I'm willing to take risks, in it. Like, I left YouTube and I went to, to Twitch mm. and I backed myself. And it's like, bro, with this manager, Regardless, man have to sack him, bro. You know, like that. You have What's to sack him. Sack him? <laughs> you have to sack him, bro. I broke into the part two. That's real shit. <laughs> you have to, bro. I'll be real. Because it's one of them ones where if you don't sack him, yeah, in the short term, in the long term, you'll regret it. Facts. You'll Facts. regret it. So, so, it would have kind of been like Oli winning the Europa League. Well, there you go. And if Oli won the Europa League, would that mean that we, we should have kept Oli Gunnar Solskjaer? No, because no. Oli needed to go. And well, Oli only never him. won, yeah, on um, penalties. So he was very close to mm -hmm. winning. Do you know what I'm saying? And we, we shouldn't have kept Oli Gunnar Solskjaer. So fuck all that, broski. Get him out. First, first that's Rantz's, <laughs> that's Rantz's thoughts on what's going on. And he said already that he wants um, De Zerbi as well. Again, 564 likes, big up to you lot, man. Where else you getting this type of content where you're getting the whole backstory of content creators, Mount Rushmore dunce, like rants. I'd just explain, obviously, I know you've expressed it before. What it is with Deserby that you're like, yeah, him, because he's been your number one pick for a strong minute now. To be honest, Hadji is the one that... Um... And big up to Lee for the raid as well, man. Big up Lee for the raid. showed me on Deserby, yeah. Um, but you know what it is? For me... Oh. I like, I like managers that have a style of play or philosophy. I thought that Ten Hag was bringing that. That's why I backed him. That's why I backed him because I assumed, oh, we're going to get the Ajax manager. We're going to play Ajax football. Like, stupid yeah. me for assuming that. Do you know what I mean? But it just is what it is, isn't it? 
So mm-hmm. this is why I backed it. But That's... it's one of them ones where, bro, the Zerbi, at least with the Zerbi, I know what I'm getting. I know the kind of football I'm getting. Mm-hmm. And it's more up my alley anyway, because I prefer possession football controlled football instead of this chaotic nonsense, bro, and leaving stuff to chance, bro. Like, mm-hmm. the best Man United have been defensively has been under Van Gaal, bro, when we had the ball. Facts. Do you know what I mean? Because you can defend with the ball, bro. Yes, 100%. So, yeah. it's one of them ones where, look at our goal difference. That gets sorted out straight away if, if we've got a team that can keep the ball because we're not conceding as much. Yeah, the goal difference. And then, you know what I mean? When you look at Arsenal, when you look at Man City, look at their average possession and then look at the average amount of chances that they concede, bro. There's a correlation. they're keeping the ball. Right, they're keeping there's the ball. A, there's oh, a oh. correlation. So, for me, the Zerbi is the closest thing to the kind of manager I like. I like I like the Bielsas. I like the Saris. I like mm-hmm. um, the Van Gaals. I like these managers that have a style of play. Like, even um, Inzaghi now plays good football. Um, uh, Thiago Atlanta, Mota. Yeah. Yeah, Thiago Mott is playing some good football at the moment. Um, bro, it's one of them ones. I like managers that have a style of play, um, a rigid style, and they can identify the profile of players and also managers that um, improve the players that they have. And that's what that's what the Zerbi does. When players leave his system, they don't look the same for a reason because the system is a bloody system's good right supreme. And this is what it is. So... Um, that's where football's going right now. The only time, yeah, the only time you can't have, you, yeah, the only time you don't need a system, yeah, is when you've got players like Real Madrid. And not everyone can have players like Real Madrid. No, I've got to have players who are just of supreme quality. Exactly. So you no. need a system in a modern game, bro. And Man saying Rance likes Italian, for real. It is Italian managers. But the funny thing is that, Italian football was the f- was my first football that I grew up watching. I grew up watching right. AC Milan. Yeah, we talk about this ridiculous. AC Milan was like was like the first team that I used to watch, even before watching United, because Italian football was the thing. Yeah, right. Italian football was the wave when man was growing up Levels. in the nineties. So Levels. I learned football watching Rude Hullet and Clarence Seedorf and them man there, bro. Like, I mean, like Rude Hullet was like the first the first player that I remember. Because I remember just seeing the dreadlocks. And yeah, like and that was it. So man always used to remember Hullet, Hullet, because of the dreadlocks. And like AC Milan was my team, bro. Like man just used to watch Italian football. So and Italian managers, bro. Like I just love the structure. I love it, bro. I love it. I can't stand Conte because he stinks the place out. But like it's one of them ones where like I like I like everything about them their discipline, their structure, like their tenacity. Even when you look at the way Italy played under Mancini as well, like mm. proper, tactical, but also... Yeah. Always very well organised. Very well organised, very technical, but mm. they've got quality at the other end as well. Do you know what I mean? Mancini with that Italy side, they played some of the best brand of football in that Euros, the Italy team, and rightfully so, they won that. Mm. Not fair. So, yeah, hundred percent. And obviously, Carlo's a bad man as well. Another. Oh, Italian. Don Carlo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's the only manager I've said that is working here or previously worked here that I would take. I think he's criminally disrespected for what he's done. Top, top, yeah. top, top, top quality. Yeah, I didn't. Re- I didn't realize that about Italian managers until you pointed it out. And even Spalletti as well, yeah. another great manager. Um. Mm. So yeah, you're right. There's something about these Italian managers I like. I didn't even realize. No, first, first. Let me just get to these super chats quick as well before we do indeed close out people big up to comedy disaster tv says i can't send you a message because you're in private get over to the gaming channel my guy we'll be live tonight on the gaming channel midnight uk time go over to sarcasm city tv gaming that's for everyone subscribe there and when we're live write in the comment section i'll accept you otherwise i'm gonna forget as well big up time to shine been a member of the channel for 27 months damn salute to you time to shine says under different ownership would things be different I presume, I'm not even sure because you spoke about so much. I'm not even sure exactly what he's talking about here, Time to Shine. Time to Shine, write that again and we'll get to it. Uh, big up to Eli, my dad Eli in the building says, keep preaching rants. 
We've inspired a lot of people to reach for what they want in life, myself included. It's definitely refreshing to hear the road to glory. Big up I to Eli. Up, man. Every single time. Eli, that's my dumb. Another one of my dumbs who you can see on the Yardman show as well. Obviously, you can see Eli. He's on uh, the NBA watch-alongs and playback. A part of okay. Pro Clubs team Lex on the Yardman show, which you lot love. Like That's definitely one of the most popular shows on the channel. He says, I know Rance is talking facts because I watch every second of every video. LOL. Mm -hmm. Big up to Lex. Been a member of the channel for five months. Big up to Chris Clarks. Has been rocking with Rance since the United Stand days. Big up to Abdi, who says, big up Flawless plus Rance. Congrats on 10K, Flawless. Big up to you. Salute for the super chat. Bless for the kind words. Big up to Malcolm. Who says question to you both? Do you find do you guys think England should get a manager that isn't English? It shouldn't be a nationality thing for me. Yep, Who's the best yep, man for the job? Best man for the job, bro. Who's the best go man? Get, if he happens get to Jose, bro, with these borders, yeah. we'll win, sir. If he happens to be English, get him. If he's Italian, if he's French, he can be from Wakanda. Forget nationality. <laughs> Don't want no matter about his passport. Who's the best man for the job? That's what it should always be with everything. Internet, yep. like nationality, don't matter. Really, really, really don't matter. Really don't matter. But big up to each and every one of you lot, man. Real ones, for real, for real. Big up to everyone who has locked in rants. It's crazy to say, because it's been three and a half hours. Anything you want to add to the people <clears throat> that you've not said already? Nah, bro. Like, to be fair, having this conversation made me remember most of the stuff, because I didn't remember. There you go, fam. That's what it's about. I didn't I didn't even remember, bro. I'm gonna be real. Like most of this stuff I did not even remember. So it's amazing to sit down now and talk about it because yeah, I didn't have a I didn't have a bruv. I didn't remember all even the stuff like with Mo and that. Like I've never said that anyway. Hey, that's what we're about, man. Hundred percent. Hey, now, yeah, like, like I never seen that, bruv. I never man ain't said that nowhere because I didn't remember. Mm, mm, you know, mm. like that. So mm -hmm. a lot of the stuff, bro, that's testament to your ability to ask questions, bro. I'll be honest because Love family, I've never, yeah, because I've never mentioned it because, bro, I didn't remember, you know, like yeah. that. So a lot of the stuff that man's spoken about today, I'm speaking about it now because I'm only just remembering because you asked me in it. So, bro, yeah. like, big up to you, bro, because I wouldn't have remembered half of that shit if you didn't ask. <laughs> nah, love fam. Nah, that's what this the specials are all about is giving people their flowers and genuinely, like I say, kick down so many doors. Like I said, the first United fan content creator that most of us seen, Matt Rushmore of this thing without doubt. Big up to all the regulars in the chat. Big up to all the mods. Big up to all the members as well. Big up to all the new people. Everyone watching this back. Salute to everyone supporting in whatever capacity. Listen on the audio platforms as well. Rums, I see you. Nero as well. Black Diamond. Like I said, there's too many names to mention. But again, I'll say this again on the show. Make sure you subscribe to Rance's channel. Rance and Bants. The link is in the title. Make sure you subscribe here. Road to 11K. What's crazy is people. We're already at halfway. So we've already, I think we've clipped 10,500. So it's crazy that we only just hit 10K the other day. 10K parties tomorrow, 10 p.m. UK time. But yeah, we we are on our way. Rant's on his way to 100K. He's going to get there as well. Big up to Amin, who says, would you yep. uh, would you both take Tuchel at United this summer? No, Hell I wouldn't no. take Tuchel. No. And I was a fan of Tuchel, but like the way his stocks have fallen. However, if he beats Arsenal, hey, his stocks will rise again if he knocks out Arsenal in the champs. You know what I'm saying? If he does. But anyways, love to everyone that's locked in. Big up to each and every one of you lot who's locked in. This has been a crazy special as well. Like I said, we're back tomorrow. England, Brazil. Watch along. That'll be a special guest on there who's never been on a watch along. So lock into that. And then 10 p.m. UK time, people, where I'll be getting waved for the 10K celebration stream as well. And then Sunday, you'll get another special. And then Monday, we'll close it out. And then from Tuesday... We're back to regular scheduling. Rans, what you got coming up over the next, the the rest of this week, next week, etc. With Premier League Champions. I think League I'm League. gonna watch. I'm gonna watch the England game only because it's Brazil. I'll be honest. Um, and yeah, that's it really for this weekend. I don't. Yeah, I don't. There's not football on the Sunday that I want to watch. So I'm gonna chill on Sunday, bro. Like, man, gonna. In, I'm enjoying this little international break, kind of. Yeah, I wouldn't. Just, I say I'm doing less, but I'm still doing a lot, you know, like that. Still doing but, a lot, never, yeah, you still you still working smart. That's what it yeah, is. You still working, it. you'll work great. I'm I'm doing less than what I would be doing in it. Like mm. so, yeah, this is what I call downtime, even though I'm still working. Yeah. 
I hear that because it never stops. But exactly. love to everyone. Love to everyone that's locked in. I hope you lot have enjoyed this special as much as I've had. Because even though me and Rance have spoke, I've found out backstory stuff that I didn't know. And that's what it was all about in regards to not just United currently, but also the backstory and the journey as a content creator as well. So big up to everyone that's locked in. Hope you lot check out all the other specials as well. We're going to redirect Casually Alive, Marshall's Live, Big Up Casually FC. So we're going to redirect to them. So just put Sarcasm City Raid in capital letters in the chat. Hit the like button, subscribe, because he's another one doing incredible things as well. Again, love you lot. Everyone's saying they learned a lot. Um, It was insightful and they enjoyed the show. Like, love, let's, let me just get to a few, a few things as well. Cap says, yeah, these specials have been great so far. I'm expecting this one to be great as well. Flawless doing an excellent job. Love. Rom says, content creator only got Twitch deals because of rants. I think he was the first to get a Twitch deal speaks volumes and we spoke on that as yeah. well. 100%. Without doubt, man. It's, it's, it's only right, man. And yeah, Juice, this is it. These specials will be timeless stories of great men in the space. That's why I also want to do them. So we yeah, can look we'll back. Talk, bro. These, are, out. these are evergreen, bro. A man can look back. At this That's in a it? year, two years, three years time, and then see where man is from Facts. when we last done that. Do you get me? That's so it. yeah, hundred percent the journey since then. So yeah, big up. Love to everyone that's locked in. This has been a Sarcasm City TV special with special guest Ransom Bants live on the Sarcasm City TV YouTube. Thank you very much for tuning in.